yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, we're back. Oh my god. It's been like fucking nine hours. Oh my god. Oh. I'm in pain. Oh, the pain. Excruciating pain. Oh. <laughs> But, uh, uh, Vass, you finished your fucking bio ran run yesterday, which fucking, I'm fucking glad that shit's over because I don't want to do that again for a while. And if I do do it again, do it on hardcore, not fucking professional because I, I, I don't think I hate myself that much anymore. Like, I think, I think it went down a little bit. Like, I think it went down a little bit. I gotta say. Ugh. You know, like, honestly, like, the thing is, right? With, like, the professional thing and all that shit. Like, it feels like... Like, I was feeling kind of the same type of feeling I was feeling doing the Nightmare Mode in RE3 Remake. You know, that's that's kind of what it was feeling like. I think it was literally just because of, like, the amount of damage I was taking. And, and especially in RE3 Remake, when you got to that final boss, it's like one hit KO. And it's like, you literally can't mess up once. And it's like, oh. Like, like, it was like one step away from that at times, right? It was like one step away from that. Like, you just had to had the damage just, like, to just get a little bit high, like higher than like it would have it 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 been there. Uh, but man, I will say... Definitely at some point we should do the uh RE RE4 original randomizer and see and see how that is on on professional. Because I feel like that that would be a be an interesting interesting contrast, right? I think that'd be I think, I think that would be very interesting. Um But you know. You know You know would be uh would be an idea. Would be an idea to do. But uh we're gonna be we're gonna be going back into Slay the Princess because I need something to fucking unwind with, calm down, not play anything fucking stressful for a while. Oh my god. I die, Jesus Christ. Uh like, man, it is, it is, it is bad, man. It's real bad. It's real bad, man. It's real fucking bad. Um, but yeah, we're going to do some more Slay the Princess Day. Get some more of the, uh, different uh, forms the princess may take. And all that good shit. Um, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to she... What new things you can do? Okay, we'll probably, probably do this like today and tomorrow. If I don't do this tomorrow, it's probably going to be infinite wealth. Probably. Probably. Probably going to be infinite wealth. So, you know. Again, we'll see. We'll see how like the day goes. Because like. I'd like to. I don't know. Again, I'd just like to take two more streams of this. I mean, I could just play it like today. And then we do infinite wealth tomorrow. And like have a nice, have a nice, have a nice chunky stream of that. It's like an extra hour really, but I don't know. We'll see, right? We'll see, we'll see. Uh, yeah, very much looking forward to infinite wealth. But, yes, slaying of the princess. Let's fucking uh, get on in here. Get on in here. Fuck was that? Uh, let's fucking do this thing. Oh, it's gonna be nice, you know. We could just do a little bit of, a little bit of just relaxing. You know, I mean, I don't really do any reading except when I fucking accidentally skip the shit. Uh, I hit my fucking mouse button when I don't mean to. Ugh. Fucking whatever, right? Oh. 
There we go. There we go. There we go. That's it. This is a love story. All right. All right. Just for. As we have a couple of these, we still need to do. All right, this one. We got this one. This one. This one. This one. And this one. And this one. Still a couple. I think like the first one. I think I think like the first one we're gonna do is gonna go down like the damsel route, right? We're gonna we're gonna go down the uh, the damsel route, and uh, see where it goes if we just kill her instead. You're on a path in the woods. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of that path, you're. Silently continue. You make your way up. A warning. Proceed. Thank you. It's only like the one one we only like is. redid, but it was kind of it was kind of cool to kind of see where like where that went if we kind of pushed further, right? Yeah, I know I know which, which one I know which one we, 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 we have to do. How many times do I have to tell you? Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the... She's... I am begging... Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. Good dialogue. I skipped, like, narrator's bullshit. It has dangerous things on here. Fine before me. Finally shut in. Shut up. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. We'll see what I can do. You're only making this more difficult. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No. You're doing the right thing. You walk up to the Jalar. I'm guessing you've made it. Okay, you have any other ideas? Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. She offers the suggestion with almost complete. If we were stuck down, you attempt to make someone. You try the door. Yep. Run downstairs. Make your way easier, easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. There's a slight effect. She she ripped it for you. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, fine. Against your wait, I didn't get the choice to even the slayer. Interesting. The self -in you cut. The blade is sharp. Her limb. She no. How? Thank you. Now let's get. No. A watch. That's interesting. Stop that. Your boss. The blade move as your body with she nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade. I'm sorry. She plunks. What I'm sorry. Stab. Can't oh, everything. You're here to slay her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. If only forget he said anything. That is different. Well, you know what, what you did to us, you villain smitten. Excuse me? I forget he said anything. But he is a villain. He made our beloved brutally take our life last time. He is trying to keep us apart, but he won't be able to withstand the power of our love. Oh, yes. Last time? What are you talking about? I think he just likes to hear the sound of his own voice. Let's try to ignore him. Yeah, he's a bit of a shit do, ass. But I also speak from the... Sure, don't pay... Yeah, it's all the same. Yeah, it's all the same. The interior of the cabin, the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. 
I suppose if we're to play the role of dashing knight, we need an yes, of course. dashing sword. That way she'll know we can defend her from her enemies. Of course, yes. Hopefully it doesn't put her on edge. There's no use arguing over motivations right now. It's good that you took the blade. You'll need it to do your job. Me. Our third slot. Our third. <laughs> Get rid of that shit ass the mirror. Door to the basement creak, but it's still a, a soft voice. Hello? Is Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I think we're in love. Oh my god. Okay, I'm with you that we should be doing whatever we can to save her, but saying we're in love is a bit hey, much. It's a bit much, isn't it? <laughs> we don't even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this fawning. Yeah. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember, you walk down the stairs. My love! We're here to... You know she... she oh, your spirits. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Do you hear that? She, she called flat mm. waiting for you to come back. You've been here before, haven't you? Yes. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, only because he meant you've done we nothing. This is has like one little like, even just like one little line of dialogue. Die. Blade in hand, you run the princess. Die! <laughs> Wait, no, you barbarian, what do you think you're doing? Oh, no, it was funny. But you ignore the pleas of the foolish little voice. And press oh, no, man, it was the funny. His eyes grow wide with terror as you approach, but she does absolutely nothing to stop you. Your blade pierces her heart, and she collapses pathetically to the ground. Wow. I'm sorry. Did I do something wrong? No, I'm just... I've had, I've had like, a lot going on, you know? <laughs> no. I've had a lot going on. Wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not you. I'm going to die now. I think that's what you want. I guess. And just like that, she's dead. Ha! Ah! And the world is Lady Killer safe. slain Thank innocent. For seeing this through, I know it was it innocent. And I killed her. It's kind of kind of sad, really. Oh, I feel sick. <laughs> sick. You took part in the murder of the fairest creature that's ever lived. And you merely feel sick. I, for one, am absolutely distraught, grief-stricken, oh. inconsolable. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's horrible. It I know. You just saved everyone. Get over it, you smarmy ass. Oh. There's nothing in the world worth getting over it for. We might as well just end it all. I don't hang on now. <laughs> You raise the blade, ah, aiming the point nah. towards your hut. Excuse me? No, you absolutely do not do that. Oh. Yeah, let's not make any rash decisions. We should give ourselves a minute, take a deep breath, and rash. The only rash decision we've made was running our cursed blade through her heart. This is far from rash. This is measured. This is the only thing left for us to do now that she's gone. Look, I understand you're upset. All right, I get it. We did, we did like a big, a big heckin' murder, but like, I mean, come on, man, this is this, 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 this is dangerous. You saw that fight. Look at her eyes. She's a, she's a murderer, a killer, a killer, if you will. Mm. I make decisions here, and I say no. Exactly, you're not doing this. All of you may have previously thought that my passions were too great to stifle, but those were merely passions of joy. My passions of sorrow run deeper than the ocean itself, and you'll find that they are far more unstifleable. Haven't you? Haven't you all? Don't believe this. What? 
What don't you believe? You plunge the blade into your <laughs> own heart and collapse to the floor. Love is a hell of a drug, isn't it? <laughs> you can't be serious. Why are you helping him? I'm not. He just made it happen. I'm sorry. He's got, he's, he's got like that passion, you know? That's right. You're all sorry. Oh! Everything True. goes oh, so hello, Zara. How's it going? And you die. Ah, dead as hell. All right. The gray. Oh, boy. You're on a path in the woods. You horrid monster. Oh. Do you think just because we've returned to the woods you've earned my forgiveness? Oh. Our beloved had best be alive and well when we return to the cabin, or you'll never know the end of my wrath. Oh my goodness. She won't be alive and well when we return to that cabin, because she's dead. We killed her. The princess is dead! You killed her. She what? And she so died! I killed Hmm. And you clearly didn't do a good enough job. I'm still here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, and I'm still here too. Oh, uh, yeah, it's true. If you lot get to be blessed with seemingly eternal life, that must mean she's still there, waiting for us to throw ourselves at her feet in remorse. I hope so. I doubt it. I think I'm better at killing than you are. Oh, is that right? Is that, is, that, is, that, is that right? So you've been here before. Of course you've been here before. What count is it this time? Two? Mm, you know. It's our third. What gave it away? The amount of voices in our fucking head, that's probably a dead giveaway, huh? Your open discussions. I mean, also that, yes. I couldn't care less what he knows. Every second we stand around arguing in the woods is a second that I'm anxiously worrying about her. Oh. Take us to the cabin and take us there now. No. In each passing moment, our relationship may be damaged even further, though I fear the rift between us may already be permanent. And if it is permanent, then what? You'll kill us again. You can't do the same joke twice. Oh, you just wait and oh. see. My vengeance will echo the depths of my bereavement. Ooh, fancy bereavement. Haven't heard that one, actually. Don't provoke him. I prefer if we didn't die again. I'm not fond of dying. <clears throat> bereavement. The fact or condition of being bereaved. Bereaved, deprived of a close relation or friend uh, through their death. The more you know. Why not? You've already done it twice. Pretty funny. Why not make it a third? It was unpleasant. It was only unpleasant because you think it's supposed to be unpleasant. I mean, fair. I'll make you feel what I feel if it's, it's all, the last it's all a state of mind. Do. And mark my words, you won't like it when it happens. Okay, buddy. Oh, how exciting. Mm. I'd love to see you try. <sighs> Can I? Well, I'm not just going <laughs> to try. It, I'm hey, going to hey, actually hey, do Hey! Hey, can I, can I narrate the thing? Please. I'm looking forward to it. Good. I am too. Can I talk now? Yes, I can. Great. Now that you're listening, let me remind you that if you're here in the woods, it means that the princess is not dead and that her very existence currently poses a direct threat to the entire world. Yeah, it's your way, way, yeah? It wasn't different. Every time I had different this place is, it wasn't different last time. If this isn't the same path in the woods you're used to, that means that her influence is already spreading and you're running out of time. Ah, uh, you know. Wait. But if her influence is spreading, that means there's hope. That means our beloved is waiting up there for us, oh. ready to make amends. Oh, we'll see. Yes, I already told you that she's alive. Don't mind him. I don't think he's doing too well. Oh, you're not doing too well at all. I don't. No, no, no. I'm doing better than any of you. 
I'm doing great. She's alive. Okay, buddy. Influence doesn't require life. But if things restarted, why wouldn't she be alive? Who said they restarted? All they've done is changed. Hmm. I shan't listen to the vile mutterings of you serpents. Onward! Our living, breathing princess awaits us. Oh, yes. Uh, bye. No, proceed. I'm sure you've already heard my words of warning in one of your past lives. You've already managed to slay her once, just don't muck it up this time, all right? I try not to. Oh, we'll muck it up, all right. We'll get our happy ending, even if it damns each and every person who's ever lived. Yeah, fuck everyone else. Uh, whatever you do, don't let him influence a single decision. He's clearly lost it. I see he's a little upset. I hate that I'm agreeing with him on anything, but I really don't like being at the whims of someone so unstable. It's stressful. I a little bit. Yes, having all those feelings isn't very productive, is it? But we're just passengers here. Why stress over something you can't control? That's, yeah, that's a fair point. You're saying that like stress is just something you can turn off. Eh. You at least not waste energy on it. It is. It's easy. Whatever happens, happens. Hmm. Are you even alive? What's the point of doing anything if you're not going to feel a single emotion? I don't know. I just exist. And that's fine with me. I feel that sometimes. <laughs> this is horribly unproductive. The cabin and your extremely important destiny await. Aha! Oh, what the fuck is... The f what, what the fuck has she become now? The interior of the cabin feels dry oh. and brittle. Ancient dust-covered wooden beams uh, hold up a crumbling ceiling uh, like mummified ribs. Each uh, elegantly carved detail of the stately building preserved in an extended stasis. Everything here has been kept safe and dry. I'm and my lives. brother in Christ, she's right there. But you're not alone. You can feel something watching you. There is a figure faintly outlined against the dusty wood of the far wall. Is that... her? Yes. Our beloved. So she does live. Ah, uh, she's kind of a ghosty to me. She doesn't look very alive to me. Yeah, kind of dead. Before you can make a move, the figure is gone, vanishing behind the door on the far side of the room. Hmm. The door at the end of the room, but there isn't a door. There's a mirror, that's it. A mirror, mirror on the door. A mirror? Is this some kind of joke? Did you all plan this out before dying? <laughs> there is no mirror. There's the door to the basement, the table, and the pristine blade. Huh. No blade. That's strange. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why is no there knife. a pristine blade? Maybe it's gone because we've already killed her with it. Perhaps it's mm. gone because an oh-so-deserved guilt started to worm its way into each and every one of you. Perhaps all of you do feel just as bad as I about what we've done. Oh. Oh, if you felt the oppressive guilt, I feel we would have manifested that weapon directly into our heart. Oh. I suppose it doesn't matter why the blade is gone, but you're going to have to find it if you're going to do this right. So why don't you march over to that door and make your way down to the basement? Approach the Make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You must think you're looking at that mirror you mentioned earlier, the one that doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open the door. Yeah. It's so hazy. We should try and clean it off. It's time for all of you to see what we've become. You reach forward and place your hand and... on the door to the basement. The handle is just a little to your right, and a little down. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So much for our reflection. We didn't need to see ourselves anyway. 
I'm much more interested in seeing other things. Yeah, I just want to go out with her. I see. We are too hideous for even oh. a mirror to behold. Oh! We can only hope she might still see some good in us. One can hope. No way left to go but down. Into the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an antique staircase lit by weak torches. Oh, hello. The air here is so stale it practically stands still, as if the very molecules of this place have been fossilized, mm. trapped for eons until your arrival. Even the blaze of the torches can't penetrate the odorless air, yeah. as if they'd run out of fuel to burn ages ago, their light still flickering more out of habit than from adhering to a physical reality. Mm. A wispy figure watches you from the bottom of the stairs, face veiled in shadow. There she is again. Yes. My love. My beloved. She's just an old memory. Your eyes lock for a brief moment, then she vanishes around the corner. Are we good? Have a weapon there wasn't anything upstairs for me when I got here. Don't just tell her you're unarmed. Not that it matters, you receive no response. Good. Do you think she's upset with us? Don't like being here unarmed after what happened last time. I feel so exposed. Of course she's livid. And with good reason. Probably. You aren't helping. Are you scared of a little ghost? Ooh. What's she going to do? Look at us until we feel bad. I, I she, she could. All she wants. It won't do anything. I'll, 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 I'll feel real fucking guilty. I'll cry. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor. Her wrist still bound to the wall by a heavy chain. Hmm. This cell is a dark and isolated place with not so much as a window to allow starlight to penetrate the gloom. See? She's dead. Dead as hell. No. What foul trickery is this? How can this be? We just saw her alive and well a moment ago, floating away transparently. My... My brother over here just ma making up fucking delusional bullshit for himself. Whatever we saw was a ghost. I thought we were all on the same page. Do try to keep up. Your thoughts are interrupted by the sound of a slamming door and a clicking lock. <gasps> oh no! You turn to see the shade of the princess hey. staring down at you from the top of the stairs, clutching a brightly burning torch. So that's where the blade is. It's already in her heart. And yet she isn't dead. I mean, she's dead, but her soul is still, you know, there. She is dead. Have you never heard of a ghost before? Mm. Oh, for the love of... Can we not waste time arguing over the semantics of what is and isn't dead? She is clearly conscious. She clearly just slammed the door on you. And yes. she clearly has a weapon. Your pristine blade sticking out of her chest. This is extremely bad. Catastrophic. And now, hold on. We, we just, let's, let, let's let her cock for a second yeah, here. Let's see what not. she's going to do. What are we supposed to do about her? Let's see what Slaying she's gonna do. Destroying, if we want to be a little more death neutral, mm. seems off the table. Yeah, that's a little weird. What are we gonna do about this? We make amends. She obviously still holds us in her heart. She's bearing a torch for us and everything. Oh, of course. But she hasn't said anything. Are you sure she can talk like this? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. You came back. I missed you. <gasps> She's not mad! That angelic <laughs> voice, I missed you too, my beloved! I'm beloved! You sure snapped back to your old self quick. Yeah, I know, it's real easy to fucking get in there, Norman. <laughs> yes, seeing her dazzling countenance again has reignited the warmth in my heart. Oh. I have found it in me to forgive the sins this body has committed. We can have our perfect romance after all. Uh, we'll see. This is a bad place. We're, We're supposed to be together, but it keeps making us hurt each other. Correct. 
the torch falls from the princess's hand and bounces down the stairs. Falling down the stairs. It'll be so much better when it's gone. The skeletal wood of the basement, perfectly dry after uncountable oh. years of desiccation, immediately oh. catches fire. She's trying to kill us. A misplaced escalation of her passion. <laughs> Clearly, she still cares for us. I say we burn with her. Well, that's not very good. Do a little funny here. Why did you close the door? Because I wanted to be with you. I don't want you to leave. See? Everything's fine. She wants to be with us. Uh... Yeah, in a bad way. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, not uh, the best way. She just has a unique way of expressing things. Oh, it's very fucking unique. The fire grows quickly, devouring the basement, dancing up the walls and painting every surface with strokes of flame. You're choked by smoke, and the air around you grows uncomfortably warm. We've never burned to death before. I wonder how it's going to feel. Bad. I yeah. it'll feel really, really bad. Yeah, very bad. Yes, it will be terrible. That's <laughs> very so bad. You something to do and fast. Your personal safety is far from the only thing she's threatening right now. I think a bit of fiery passion is good for the world. You're just trying to spoil her fun. I'm not spoiling anything. I'm trying to prevent oblivion. Oh yeah, do I just don't let me burn? You'll understand when it's over. Just like I understood after you stabbed me in the heart. Everything is okay. Hmm. She's old in a grudge. She wouldn't. She's perfect. Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? The heat grows in intensity as the flames draw ever nearer. You can practically feel your skin sizzling already. If you're going to try and stop her from killing you and destroying the whole world, you'd better do something and you'd better do it now. I wonder if we look good right now. Oh my Fire god. Fire makes a lot of things look good. I can only imagine how dazzling our eyes are in the dancing flames. D do you think she's noticed? No, I, d I, I don't think so. I don't want to burn to death. <laughs> We don't have to, right? As you rush up the stairs, the entire cabin erupts into a raging inferno. You ignore the princess, throwing yourself headlong against the door, bashing at it with your clenched fists in a vain attempt at freedom. Mm. It's no use. You're stuck here. Your skin starts to bubble. As layers of you peel away into raw, seeping burns, you feel a hand on yours. You turn to see the princess, oh, isn't that face a cute bright smile? and smile wide with manic affection. She clutches you close to her chest, watching with loving eyes as the flames eat you away, bit by bit. The pain is unbearable at first. Every inch of you screams as your flesh is stripped away, your muscles stiffening as they're cooked, Cook. your blood boiling in your veins. That's lovely. But it isn't long before the flames take your nerves, and with them, your ability to feel much of anything. See? That wasn't so bad. Ow. It was so bad. But somehow, nothing is so much worse. Mm. You'll get used to it. <laughs> there are still the feelings of the heart. Those never go away. Oh, they always do in the end. Uh... You just haven't experienced enough. Eventually, you'll want them to stop too. You'll make them stop. Trust me. Yeah, okay, buddy. The princess's smile never fades. Her skin peels away, and then her muscle, 
until all you can see is her charring skull, locked in an eternal grin. It's very romantic, really. By the hands of a faded spirit. After all, we can die happy. Mmm, crispy. Very good. Very good indeed. Uh. Rush for the blade. Try this. As you rush up the stairs towards the princess, the entire cabin erupts into a raging inferno. You push through the flames, trying to ignore the choking hot air filling your lungs, and manage to reach her, your hand wrapping around the hilt of the blade. But the metal is already blistering hot. Your hand sizzles as it melts on contact. Wonderful. You can't so much as pull away, your nerves seizing up as they're fried. Nice. The bones of your hand fusing in place around the weapon. The princess, smiling warmly as her skin bubbles away, places her hand on yours and clutches it to her chest. The pain is unbearable. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just burn here. I'm not mad at you. You gave me so much to think about. And it's all going to be over let's just, soon. Just do all the dialogue all options. Be She's holding a grudge. She wouldn't. She's the fire grudge. We've never had. Yes, it will. I, I'm, not I'm going to. I mean, uh, the. It's okay. I'm going to burn too, and then we won't hurt anymore. Hmm. She's right about the last part. Burning doesn't hurt forever. The heat grows in intense. I want. But I want. Because I wanted to be with you. I See? Yeah. She just has a. The flames lick at your form, stripping layers of you away, causing your skin to blister and pop and crisp as you burn. The princess glides to your side, her ghostly form blackening as she, too, succumbs. This is terrible. We're going to die. I'd savor this feeling if I were you. Soon enough, we won't have nerves. And we'll get to die with her. Oh. After what you made us do last time, this is as sweet an end as we could hope for. She clutches you close to her chest, her eyes bright and her smile wide with manic affection. Watching this seems like a like a dead end one, like this is like the last one. The pain is unbearable at first. If she's gone, where does she go? And there's that mirror. I'm begging you, don't. It's different now. If, yes, I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt, right? Ignore the cowards. You have to look. See, I like, I like Cole. He's a homie. <laughs> He's like, fucking do it. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> it's me. Even after anything, everything is all, it's still me. Now at the cabin approach her. Something finds me in the long. Yes, nerves and fibers to feel the world's beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is passion betrayed, but even in the end, her love never faded. She will make for a bright heart. Do not mourn her, for she has finally found her light. Nothing as we are. There is no exit. Bring me more pers- 
She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. That's a lot of hair. That's why I always a lot of ains. Jerky wife, correct. Also, hello, Robo, and hello, hello Garrison. Hopefully, you two are doing well. Some more, uh... A bright heart. Bring the burned gray to her. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path, you're here to slay her. Yeah, where are man? You make your warning. She will love. We're not going to ignore. I was going to say, oh, I should have, like, turned back around. Uh, oh, no, we can do tower. Try and kill tower. The interior of the, the blade. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna exactly work, but, uh, I don't know, let's go try and do, uh, tower. Try and go past that, I guess. The door to the basement creaks up. Mm. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. A bot in your Discord. God, of course! That happens from time to time. Yeah, hold on. Let me just... Uh, let me Taking care of, thank you for letting me know. They both had another friend request. Yep. Yeah, you know, if you get someone like a friend request out of fucking nowhere, uh, never been racked before, yeah, it's probably bad. Thank you, Fatty, for letting me know. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Also, hopefully, you're doing good today. We're killing princesses today because I needed some therapy after suffering. That's like two days. Mostly yesterday, though, because yesterday was real bad. Yes, yes, thank you very much. Uh, hey, I think I'm here to kill you, question mark. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Oh, okay, I just do, uh, I just, you know, just... Great do. job. You gave away doing the element I'm doing pretty good. Good luck, hero. I'm doing with a fucking rat prop in my fucking house, and this motherfucker has not been caught yet. Oh, yeah, which, by the way, updating the rat thing, uh, check the traps and shit, uh, when I woke up today. Uh, fucking not in there. Also fucking heard him in the walls when I woke up, so, uh, yeah, he's being a fucking jackass. Fucking rat. Fucking scave it in my walls! Anyway. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Yeah, yeah. There's a heavy chain around her You're wrist. kidding when you said you're here to kill me. To the far yes, I have this knife I found. Uh... Ah, no way! Why would you even think that? That giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, doesn't it? It's not that big. Heh. The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. Oh, yeah, fair, fair enough. I should change, change it to a gun. Don't use it. This is fantasy. I don't have it. We don't have guns here. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. <laughs> it's not different. Drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands. Yeah, no, I think I have to do, do this way to get with an unceremonious power. clang. Clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Now we talk. You know, we have a conversation. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face yeah, to face. Yeah, what an awkward start to relationship. Unarmed. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You're talking about whatever. Oh, have you decided what to do? You know why. 
Uh, slay, I guess. Doubt, unfortunately, yeah. clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. <laughs> a moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. Fuck! It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. Fuck! You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Ow! Holy shit, that hurts! <laughs> Holy shit! Though she's unarmed. The shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. I don't know, man. She got hands. Your blade slashes through the air again and Fuck. again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone crushing hit. I sound very nice. We can still turn this around. Oh, wow, we got, we got, we got, got back, we can go back from this. <laughs> yeah, we'll finish the job. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she. I know. Is I supposed to give up? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We, we can just go back. Excuse me. Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. Mmm, internal bleeding. The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push oh, through I was the supposed pain, to, I was supposed falling to forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. You don't think... I mean, I mean, we can get, like, the different endings for that. But I want to go oh. down this one. The two of you fall to the floor. This was fun. Yeah, no, this the is, this is the, 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 like, the Oni version of her. Rasps, her lungs start to she loves to fight. fight. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder, do you really think this is the end? But you don't have there time is. to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. You fucking die. Dumbass. You're on a path in Yeah, let me just let me just confirm. Again, this is this, 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 this is like our third you go, go through of this, so I'm trying to make sure we get all the new shit. I used to like new shit like some of the endings, like all the interactions and stuff, but you know, I'm trying to get all the, the cabin all the new shit. Yeah, okay, nice. Let's, Let's go back real quick. We're gonna fucking speed run this. Alright, yes, we got we we gotta give up. Alright, we got we gotta give up. Cause cause we're we should, the goddamn door the basement creaks open. Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. Oh, I don't know, I just this caught a fucking butt. Look at that. Place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. You, I don't if the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. You. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, are you now? I'm real forward. Right, it, 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 it was, it, it, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I know. You brought a knife with you and everything. <laughs> but you don't have to try and kill me. You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground and give the two of us a chance to talk things out. She makes a compelling point. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just dropped the blade? and talked don't you dare it's fine we can just mm -hmm. thank you let's do what we did before I don't know. so here we except are. this time what just give up like a little bit oh. you doubt on a moment if though she's unarmed we can... give up are you serious <laughs> as internal bleeding sets in the blade falls from your trembling hands, clattering to the ground, uselessly. Oh, goodness gracious, whatever will I do? You lacked the will to finish the job, your bruised and broken body falling to its knees before her. Blech. The princess, exhausted, chest heaving with heavy breaths, tosses the blade away from you. This is the end, isn't it? Is this really the best you could do? Look at you, completely broken. 
I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. Nimi, nimi, nimi. She plants her foot on your chest no! and pushes you onto your back, the air leaving your lungs in a heavy. It's actually cough. different. Wait. And then she okay, brings no, no, her no, no, knee no, no. to your throat. She leans into it with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess, shattering your windpipe and leaving you starved for breath. It's too bad. I was looking forward to some company. Well, that's what happens when you kill someone. <laughs> you don't have company Everything anymore. Goes dark, and you die. Funny how that works. Okay, here we go. The tower. Okay. You're on a path. A warning. Before she will lie, we might as well just. Can we? I'm not being a pessimist. Oh. If that's what you want. Oh yeah, whatever. Take the knife. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess. Oh, uh, it's gonna be real fucking difficult, I imagine. Oh god. Oh boy, here we go. Enter. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase. Huh. It's still a her boon. Is that a guest I hear? You won't yeah, yeah, sure yeah. It doesn't matter. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting <gasps> effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering oh, the fuck. vast, temple-like room beyond. The princess towers over you, Big lady. almost glowing in the weak starlight. The chain is nothing to- The little bird has returned to- Squawk! You brought that knife again. Even though you know it's useless. Such charming audacity. Look, man. If I stab enough times, you'll die. Drop it. I don't want to. Tighten your grip. As if on command, the blade slips God from the God damn it! It crashes uh. useless to the floor. But we didn't drop it. We decided to grip it tighter, remember? Are you really just gonna let that happen to Absolutely you? not! I have a duty to report facts as facts, and the fact is that you dropped the blade. I did not! That's a lie! Of course. You made did. it up! She's so much more than us. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. Yeah, whatever, just because she's big doesn't mean I'm 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 not I've yeah, I, I got a knife. Oh, I understand <laughs> what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. Neil. I don't want to. I... Uh, mm, no. Politely. Oh, are you still trying to defy me? I said Neil. Your legs ah! buckle, and your knees hit the floor. Fuck! That's my good little bird. No. Why don't we talk? What? I want The last time we met, you tried to kill me. And here you are again. Trying to succeed where you've already catastrophically failed. That's not very nice! What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Oh, you know. Bullshit. Speak. The last time we met, nobody should have met her before this. You should be the first. You're the only one I trust to deal with her. Then you shouldn't have trusted us. No. There was nothing we could do to stop her then. And there's nothing we can do to stop her now. You're just not believing. Like, motherfucker. We, like, went to one of us. We just kept going, you know, just kept stripping us fucking like our skin, our fucking muscles bones and nerves look we got we just gotta keep going we just we just gotta keep defying all right we just gotta do it you just gotta fucking believe blood for the blood you know all you know all that shit he's being melodramatic but yeah we've been here before and she absolutely destroyed us uh, you know what are we even supposed to do to stop her uh suplexer that's worrying Whatever you do, don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to give her any ideas. I don't want to give her any fucking ideas. No, no. You're supposed to end the world. 
Yeah, they're gonna listen. No. Perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. I don't need a lecture from you, lady. <laughs> you, you, you punched me and it hurt real bad. <laughs> Pick up that needle. That's incorrect. It's a knife. There's no needle. It's a knife. Do it. It's what she wants. I don't know. I want to listen to you. No objections here. What? I don't know what she's planning, and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning, but we might as well pick up the blade. I'll make it see if I can hurt As your eye it, falls on the blade, you feel a weight. Some divine hand that sits unperceived by your senses, but then manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. Mm hmm. Interesting. I can't pick any of these. Pick up the blade. You reach forward and grasp the blade. Firmly grasp it. Stand. Standing here. Easy. I'm standing See, here. This isn't so bad. I I stand okay, here. Yeah. And we can do that. We were probably gonna stand anyway. I guess. I, I'm standing you can here. Feel a creaking tension oh. between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet. Like two foes forced into an unhappy truce. Hmm. The princess eyes you with soft contemplation. The moment seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. Yes. But all silences are broken eventually. To define me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet, Shadow, while I am brilliant radiance. Yeah. Alright. Take that knife in your hand and slit your throat. That sounds cringe! What? What? <laughs> you don't have to listen to her. You're armed. A you knife gives me power! Nerves. Step forward and end this. Yes. And fuck. Oh, we'll end this all right. Your hand lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear <laughs> language. End her. Yes, thank you. Clear language. Clear language. I can understand. Okay, it's helpful. Slay the... There's a resist thing. What if... Does that lead to the gray? Is what that is? I don't know. Interesting. Weird. Uh. Slay the princess. Your body is sluggish and unresponsive, <laughs> fighting against you. <laughs> you do your best to stagger forward. One step at a time, you move towards the princess. And she's like, oh shit, he's moving. Slitting your throat would have been a mercy, but it seems you're in need of a harsher lesson. No, I don't. I, I think it's you who needs the lesson because the, it's, it's not nice the way you talk to me. Plunge that knife into your lungs. Wait, oh, it's a, it's a little bit of a, you know, I don't know, it's a little bit of. A... I'm sorry. Don't. As you take another step forward, the blade digs into your ribs, slicing through flesh with ease. It somehow feels like an entirely natural thing to do while the simple act of walking has become an arduous impossibility. Fuck. Then it slides back out, the wound burning as a small hiss of air escapes through the fresh orifice. Blood fills your lungs. Oh, you know, I was a little bit thirsty. My lungs anyway, so, you know. You just did me a favor, get bodied. Now, do it again. Keep doing it until I give you permission to stop. Well... Those are just words you don't have to listen to. Yeah, there's no power in her words. What she wants. You, heroic one, what are you doing? Don't just let this happen. Stop him from killing you. I'm on it. Oh, uh, thank you. Fucking finally, Jesus. Your other hand locks around your wrist, struggling to keep it from perforating. Fucking shit! Organs. 
as the blade still flails towards you, managing to slice bits of skin that plop to the floor to join the growing pile of blood and gore beneath you. This isn't going as I was going to go. <laughs> you manage to keep yourself in one piece. The one piece! What a pitiful display. A wounded little bird thinking it can defy a god. I played Final Fantasy! I've killed God like six times now! You can't stop me! It doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have to hurt so much. You can choose a gentle end. You can choose to leave that punctured vessel for the next. I don't want to! Slay the princess! Go! You can pathetically struggle against yourself until the floor of this temple is painted with the bloody impressions of your futility. Yeah, well, you know what? This is your floor. You know what? I'm messing up your house. So, you know what? Why, why should I care? This is your house. You know, it's the mess you gotta clean up. You continue to approach the princess, even as the repeated gouges of your blade expose bone and muscle to the open air of the basement. A little chilly down here. You know, this would be a lot easier if you gave us a hand. My influence only goes so far, and I can only juggle so many things at once. The best I can do right now is to continue to drive you forward. Believe me, this whole ordeal would be so much easier if I didn't have to contend with free will. Yeah, probably. You're the one making things difficult. You're the one making us hurt. She doesn't want to hurt us. She's just doing what she has to. This is a lie. Stop. Wait. As you finish crossing the room, you fall to your <gasps> knees at the princess's feet. Your chest heaving as your blood pools in the crevices of the stone floor, the coppery taste coating your throat. It must not feel nice to breathe because one of your fucking lungs is fucking just filled with blood. The princess kneels down, Aye. lifting your chin with her finger as her face lowers to yours. My, what big hands you have! <laughs> your devotion is misplaced. You've surrendered to delusion, but something about your defiant spirit speaks to me. Yeah. You are different than you were before. Yeah. Perhaps, if you've learned your lesson, I can spare you from the release of death. Why can you heal me? There's a I'd be kind of cool. My side for you, if you'll have it, not as an equal, but as something worthy to be kept, a priest. Perhaps. Or a pet. Well, that's the meaning, isn't it? Hey, it's, a, it's not great, is it? No, it's not great. Yes, how thoughtful of her. Oh, yeah, very. It's a mercy. Take it. No. I think he's given up whatever say he had at the start of all this. Oh, he's a broken boy. At least one of you is sane. She's within striking distance, and she's only negotiating now because she knows you have what it takes to put an end to her. Seize the moment before it's too late. Play the princess! No. Yes, though your body trembles, struggling to defend yeah. itself in the face of the princess's overwhelming will, you finally manage to break through, darting to her side before she can react. The wind of your yeah, finger rushes break her ankles. and you channel it into a decisive blow, stabbing into the soft flesh of her ankle and severing the tendons in an act of unyielding defiance. Yeah. She falls to the floor, crashing unceremoniously to her knees. Big. But you don't give her any time uh. to recover. Your heart pounding with determination, you plunge your blade into her chest. This is what you gotta fucking believe. Don't don't ever give up. Never give up. Slay the prince! As you find your target again and again, she laughs. Crude emotion breaking through her mm. once stony composure <laughs> as your blade cuts her flesh. Do you think we probably could have used a bigger knife? We can do this, can't we? Keep stabbing! You always could. Keep going! The decision to do Never this stop. task was not made lightly. You're here for a reason. Yes! It's not too late to pick up the pieces. It's not too late to toss that blade aside and beg for forgiveness. Stop being cringe! Shut up. Yeah! I can't believe you would actually strike me. You... Yeah, I did. We could do about it. You were. You defiled her. 
You don't know the consequences of your arrogance. I'm ready for full life consequences. Before you can Fuck. strike the final blow, the princess lashes out, knocking you off your feet. Shit. There's an unsettling Fuck. pop as your spine breaks, numbness and pain spreading through your body. As you rebound towards the ceiling in a moment of disorientated lightness, she drives her fist into your chest. I see she's got a very big hand. Your body is crushed. Fuck! She pulverizes you into the floor, the ground itself breaking from the impact. You lie there, broken, beyond pain, unable to even see what she's done to you. But the princess is succumbing to her own wounds. Let's as well. go! She looks down upon her body in abject horror and disgust. Blood for the blood, girl! You made me use my hands. Yes. I, I can feel myself twisting into something new, something dull, something defiled. What have you done to me? I don't know. I thought it was funny. You're monsters and conspirators. I can't bear to watch this. And fucking. Go, go, go to the back part of our mind. I don't know. The princess has been nothing but cruel to you. You should feel liberated by her fall. But I don't feel liberated. I feel empty. You're always fucking empty. Aside from the pain, I feel fine. I feel great! Besides the horrible pain and our body probably being mostly just a mess of flesh. God killer, slay or better. Her glassy eyes yeah. watched her blinking, yet somehow still full of anguish and fear as the two of you perish together. Let's go! I suppose we were never gonna get a happy ending here, were we? I mean, depending if you wanted to submit to her, I guess. Don't let those be your final thoughts. You saved the world. That's worth something. I guess. Regardless of how you feel about it, it's finally over. Thank you. Everything goes dark, and you die. You ever get the fury? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end no, of the I know, path, okay, this what one. the hell is that? Well, at least the dialogue's different. Oh. I think he's upset. Oh, we should be upset, is he? And what's he got to be upset about? We just killed a god. Yes. <laughs> exactly. You heathens destroyed the most can't say I have much sympathy for you. She was bad for us, and you almost got us killed. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like, I feel like the broken is just the smitten, but like, you know, step on me, please, you know. You're being too generous. He did get us killed. All right, enough chatter. I've got a thing I'm supposed to do, and if you a don't dingy. mind, I'd like to do it without any more interruptions. Okay, great. You're listening. <clears throat> You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a- If your thing is telling us about the princess, don't waste your breath. We know all about her, and it's hardly a path in the woods at this point, is it? Yes, the flesh. Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more duo- What if, I, what if I did turn around and leave? I wonder what. Hmm. Yeah, cause damn, cause damn, yeah, that just that just led 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 back to this. Oh, I'm done with this. Bye. Are you serious? Fine. You walk away from the cabin. Let's see how that goes for you. Wait, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? Everything is getting fuzzy. Oh. What's going on? Where are we? We're dead, obviously. I told you we shouldn't have come here. I told you. But did you listen? No. Not very good at listening.
your honor, your hair. Yeah, go slow back, go back to the Furies. That, uh, that's kind of disappointing. Seriously? Yes! Fine. I suppose. Good. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. You're really keen on wasting. Yes. Your silence is deafening. Thank you. But fine. You turn around and trek back you just down gotta the path. We just got to do this. We get the uh Actually, I'm in a different direction again. In fact, I'm just going to keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now. And here we go. At first, it's but as you in where you've do you lose your honor part. Okay, here we go. You're here. A stranger. A warning before you go any further. <clears throat> she will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Mm. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Probably. Let's keep an open mind. Proceed. The cabin interior is wrong. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. But it's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. Mm. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths. Its material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Oh! The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. Yay. Good as a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway. No, we're taking the knife. <sighs> have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. Yes. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. True. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong... That's a little weird. Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. Eh, uh, yeah. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa! Piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. I, if you say so. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job, so you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yeah, yes, of course. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. I guess. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Uh, yeah, just accept reality as it is. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Mm. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, let's save. Let's save that base. I want to, like, get some of that later. Uh, take you take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Okay, fine, you took the knife. But you really shouldn't hold it like that. What? Then how are we supposed to hold it? The other way. Thumb at the bottom. It will look much cooler and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. Hmm. It really doesn't matter how you hold the blade, as long as you have it. Mm -hmm. Just make a choice. Thumb on the, on the bottom there. All right. I guess. Hold the blade the other way. You switch your grip on the blade. Congratulations. Yay. Yes. Isn't this so much better? Yes, dear. Okay, fine. 
You're right. This does look a lot better. Yeah, we, we, we look so much more cooler now holding it upside down. It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. <laughs> step, step, step. All right. Uh, throw the blade out the window. Uh, I'm probably going to kill it. The door to the basement creaks open. Revealing a web of branching staircases oh. all built from unidentifiable materials. Nothing here seems to belong, and the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get, your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. Mm. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it. Kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. Mm. An odor that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. Mm. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Oh yes, of course. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality drags up the stairs. Which one? Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? No. Yeah. Mm, no. No, thank you. Uh -uh. Oh, don't be such a baby. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Let's just turn around and leave. Oh. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like, whatever we do, we're gonna die. Oh, you're just being dramatic. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, Whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. Yeah. And what's that? Well, we'll see what's going on. That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. That's true. That's true. Center, I guess? You step onto the center staircase. Paths wind out around you in all directions, each step branching into its own staircases, which branch into their own staircases, and so on. Lovely. You aren't quite sure if yours is taking you up or down, but at the very least, it's taking you somewhere. Where we're going places, I know that. You concentrate on where you are, careful not to stray onto any of the many splitting branches that tempt you on all sides. You wouldn't want to have to backtrack to yours once you'd made a decision that took you someplace else. Mm-hmm. And so you take one careful, focused step after another. One foot down, another foot down, another after that. You lose yourself in following the correct pattern, in following what looks to be the true path, the one that cuts straight down. Or up. Or maybe sideways. Perspective is not a concept here. But no matter the direction it goes, it certainly is the most or true whatever. path. You know that much. You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Good. Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Uh. Physical sensations dull and then vanish. Uh until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Mm. Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as can I help you? Oh. Uh, hey. What? What the hell was that? What happened to us? I don't worry about it. I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Hmm. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. Time to get stabbing! The princess. Eyes bright, but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. Of course. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. Oh, yes, of course. You're here to... He's just being an ass. We remember. <laughs> Though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. 
Let's talk to her for a bit, try and get our bearings. She seems normal. She's going to be anything but normal. What's your name? Princess. All right. You can address me as oh. your royal highness or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. We can do that? Eh. I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can, can we put her back? Again? Have you been here before? Yes. Should we tell him? Nah, let Should him we tell him? <laughs> yeah, right, let him call him. Yeah, we've been here before, but we never went to the cabin. We just turned around and left until... Until? Yes? It's hard to describe. Until the only thing we could see was the same cabin going on forever. And then you told us that the world ended and we died. And then we woke up and I'm pretty sure you're familiar with all the rest of it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. Oopsie. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? Clearly. Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here and you need to do it now. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. More! There's more of you now. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. Do you need help? Not that there's much I can do, all chained up like this, but I'm the only one down here. So if you need anything, I'll do my best. She fractures again. I don't like where this is going. Oh, it's funny. Neither do I. Which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already are. I don't know, man. It's funny. How would we even do that? Where would we start? You could always start by stabbing her. Which her? Any of them. I don't know about you, but I'm sure glad we took that knife with us. I can't believe someone suggested you'd toss it out the window. Can you imagine? Imagine that! I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. Kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like everything we say just multiplies her. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. Oh. Wait, that's not right. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands different. Uh. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying uh. in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. All at once you charge forward, knife gleaming to slay the princess just as you strike at her and leave her to languish alone. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. A little wacky. But this... We, we can't... Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. Oh, this is pleasant. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Uh-huh. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all... ...falls apart? I think he's gone. What? We were never going to salvage this, were we? No, this is a fucking mess, man. This is unsalvageable. What happened to us? What are we? What are we? There are parts, parts of us that are dead, dead and, and the others, and the others they just don't fit. fit. They, just they don't fit. fit. We can feel them moving around in spaces they don't belong. It's all so uncomfortable. Did you do this? Did, Did we, we do this? this? Can, 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 you can you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Can you fix us? Uh, we should help her. I think we did this. Yes. How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. What are you, silly? It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Ah, 
die a bit. Please, please, please. please. I'll do my best. The illusion of choice when everything is possible, nothing is. You never know if she hears your reply, she's gone, she's memory gone. returns. And is that? This. This doesn't. Yeah, don't look at it. I. You've grown. Proceed. When I found you in the long quiet alone, but your commitment now flickering lights whenever is a child. Eyes closed. Perspectives melt to it feels Why wouldn't I be Okay, there it is. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? These ones are a contradiction. A winding kaleidoscope of paths and wall. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. Mm. They will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. Oh, that's good, I guess. I guess. Uh. Oh, shit. Uh. I'm ready. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on we will meet again. And then goes dark and you die. Bring the stranger to her. You're on a path. You're here. Me. Oh, steam closed. Uh, my achievements here. Look at the achievements. I think I know what we're gonna do next. Uh, we need to I think that one's like pretty much like a dead end there. Um. Ooh, actually, ooh, the prisoner might, um... Oh, fuck, there's actually more to this. There's more scenes. Is it raining? Oh, it's raining? Oh, there is, like, a completely different... It's water? So there's an alternate version of this where it's water. And like, I guess like you probably like drown in that version. Hmm. I wonder how you get that. The god through force of arms, but ultimately succumb. She's the god purely through force of will and no weapons. Hmm. Yeah, there's only like that two left, so. Yes, I'm pretty sure we're going to do the beast. I'll try and kill her there and hopefully that'll get there. Yes, I think like beast and prisoner are kind of the... Uh... Might resist to the vine, but it's very hard to kill a god. There's no shame in failing.
We have to resist? I guess tower... Tower might actually go into another thing. We just have to not bring the knife? Hmm... Vector might lead to something. There's a whole shit ton here. Okay, so, okay. Uh, we're gonna go try and do the beast. I think, I think to do a warn, beast. I think we have to not have the knife. I think. The interior blade. Please don't let. You, you must have. Great job. You've given away the element of surprise. Good luck. You walk down. She's. I am. Hi. Only making this more. Thank you. You're making no. You did walk a large. I'm guessing you don't. Maybe it's down. Okay, I'll be here. You attempt this. You make the easier. I heard the door. There's a slight. Pack. If I could just get out of these. She barely. She rips her. It's the boot. Or you won't. I think we do this. Without hesitation, the wound drop. Okay. You. You. Bastard! Were you- The princess pushes away from you, wounded, but still alive. You've made a terrible- I thought we- It's an act. Um, don't- mm -hmm. As you read your blade for- Oh, your beast! Are weak as no, I not wanted it! You steal your excuse. Do you think- Can you not feel- You take the two- You collapse. After all this time alone- Silence. You've paid a terrible- If you think this is it- but you don't have time to worry over such things. Mm -hmm. Which you're on a path in the Hasala, woods. Hasala, Omega. And at the end of that Hopefully path, you're doing good. You're here. Okay. Uh, I think we have to kill her here, and then we get the beast. I I, I believe oh, she will. Don't want. And then we have to kill the beast. The interior of the cave. Hey, hello. Is a we're doing, we're doing our third, roots. our third day. The walls are chaotic weave just... of knotted wood that almost as if we finished the game like two times. We're just trying to get all the, the floor, all the, the different uh, uh, forms the princess takes and all the endings and whatnot. It's also been nice just to play. It just has a nice little like chill thing to do. Uh, you take the well. See if I can do this right. The door, the we of silence. I see. Don't think I've forgotten about you. I recognize the sound of your Ooh. nervous little footsteps as soon as they came into my home. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. That's nice. She must have you confused with someone else. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. <sighs> You can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing- Do you- You need- Fine. Mm. Thank you. You can just make- And there you are. One hand tucked away behind your- That's no fair. So, we've dropped good. She's at- Oh, that's pretty cool. It's well, you remember- No, I'm- Is- Let- Beep, 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 beep. <sighs> I was scared to stab you. Things got out of hand. Things did get out of hand, didn't they? But it's hard to let bygones, and you started. Me, 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 me. Uh, look at
I think giving her the... As I'm trying to remember how I went down, how we went down the beast route. You... You can uh, now hold on, as do I, you... You're going to get everyone killed, you know that. You toss the blade at the princess's feet. She eyes it with suspicion before kneeling down to pick it up. I wouldn't have done that. You hear a clanging of metal against the dirt floor, and the ch She could have gotten out of the- A woman after my own heart, luckily for us. Or we should- mm. She creeps forward, taking one- What do you think happens now? You and the princess share a knowing look. Hi. And then <laughs> she throws the blade. What? I told you. Lee dances across her face as you fall to the ground. <laughs> I did it. I got you. The princess seems to tremble, her smile fading. Why? Why did you let me do this? It was funny. But you don't have oh, no, the this go... to respond. Everything goes dark. No, this is the thorn, right? You're on a path. She stabbed us. She actually stabbed us. Of course she stabbed us. We gave her the blade, which, I might add, I voted against. But the mm. whole point was that she wasn't supposed to do that. The whole point of giving her the blade was to break the sun. I guess it really doesn't matter if she killed us, though, right? We're back here, which means that everything's fine, or fine adjacent. Maybe she won't be as keen to betray us this I might, time. I might go down this, because I, I didn't... Uh... Her that we can change. Maybe that's so little didn't take kill to show her that there's another this, way to so. do things. Yeah, might as well. You know, uh, yeah, well, might as well. Right. You've like that changes anything. We all know the game is rigged. Oh, it's Doesn't rigged. Doesn't even matter if she's nice this time. I'm sure he'll find a way to turn us against each other. Great. So you've obviously been here before, since you apparently died at least once, twice actually. Uh, yeah. Sure. Twice. gone it isn't long before you i don't know are you talking about ignore him proceed the interior of the cabin is hardly an interior the only fern we well it's not let me look i wouldn't of course we don't get to make a choice about the blade every single time we come back here something has to be different you step forward might as well take a look while we can there's nothing else to do here now that the knife has been taken from us you reach forward and wave your hand through the hollow entrance leading to the basement. What are you doing? I'm practicing my mime skills. Figures. Well, seems like the- Yes. You step there. through the frame of scorched wood and make your way into the darkness. The stairs to the- their spine. I'd say this feels like a trap, but you practically said as much. Yet you still want us to keep going. I'm just gonna keep my like having like different like voices with us, like when we go into different things and also like lead to different branches. I'd say getting a few scratches in exchange for the lives of everyone in existence is a fair trade. I'm sure you'll manage. Her voice, worn down by pain and suspicion, hobbles up the stairs. I can't get away from you, can I? I don't know why you let Proceed. You continue down the basement stairs, brushing past the smooth edges of- You step out into what was what at the heart of it all. Did you know this was going to happen to me? Are you here to watch me suffer? Are you here to laugh? Reach for the blade. You reach into the thorns, towards her bloodied hands and the blade clutched tight in her grasp. But she snatches it away. Ignoring the thorns that carve fresh wounds as she moves within her prison of vines. I knew this was the only reason you'd come back down here. I'm not falling for it. It's mine now, and I'll let these thorns tear me to shreds before I hand it over. You me? You reach into the nest of thorns once again. And again, she yanks the blade away, despite the obvious pain it causes. Play your games all you want, but I've decided how I feel. I can do this forever if that's what it takes to keep it out of your hands. Anything to say to change your mind? No, we're past that. You and I both know words are hollow. Hmm. 
figures. I wouldn't trust her, so why would she trust us? You're the one who got us here. If you weren't doing so much scheming, maybe yeah, because the person went through his head smitten. Maybe we could have fixed things. I'm just just remembering that now. I think there are a lot of other people worth pointing fingers at before you go blaming me. I'm just looking out for our best interests. Did you forget she stabbed us last time? That's true, actually. The game's over. We shouldn't have pushed her so hard. Give it up and leave her here. It's not like she can go anywhere on her own. You're a prisoner of your own making. I broke our cycle of violence. If you still want to wallow in it, then be my guest friend and leave. Do you really think you can just wash your hands of all of this? Do you really think you can just leave me here? Dad her in her thorny prison. This is even better than stabbing her. The same reward without any of that nasty effort. Yeah, who wants to do effort? It's not even better. <laughs> Putting off a choice is always worse than making a committed decision, especially when you already know the right answer. Yeah, yeah. Almost feels like we're as bad as the powers that be. Is that all it really took to twist us into yet another tyrant? A single ounce of control? Hmm. It sure feels like it. She looks so... sad. Bleeding and alone. And we're just turning our back on her. Oh, stop trying to bring morality into this. There are winners in life and there are losers. And what matters is that right now, we've decided to be a winner. Got a win. But as you approach the basement stairs, you make a grim realization. The thorns won't let you leave. We don't have any way to cut through them. Okay, new plan. We re-befriend the princess <laughs> of the blade and all of us leave here together as friends. You can't leave without me, can you? Isn't that funny? Isn't that so funny? This is perfect, actually. Just you and me rotting down here forever, together. Hey, isn't that fun? You know, just to make sure things are a little more permanent, I think I'm going to take this particular needle out of the picture. She wouldn't. It's only fair. We were going to leave her with no way out. She's returning the kindness. Thorns slice into the princess's hands, lacerating what little skin remains as she raises the blade to her mouth. Motherfucker, you going to- Do not drink the knife! Take it. Take it now, before she swallows it out of spite. Rush. You rush towards the princess, arms outstretched and grasping for the blade. But as you tear through her thistled prison, the thorny vines dig deep into your arms, seemingly growing thicker and sturdier the closer you get to your goal. It feels like it should be within reach, yet you cannot reach it quickly enough. It's no use, even if we grab it, we won't be able to pull it back out of there. It's better than letting her eat it and losing it forever. You just manage to reach her hand, grasping it firmly in yours before the thorns finally trap you in place. Blood trickles down your arm, mingling with hers. The two of you lock eyes. We're stuck like this, aren't we? I knew this was always going to be how it ended. Hmm. She's gone. W where did she go? And there's that mirror. Hmm. 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 Oh, oh. Let me think. Go. This is going to be fair. Do you think I get like an achievement for doing it like this? I am a growing core, all of me. This one yearns for connection she feels she doesn't deserve. Even when shown compassion, she hid herself away. She will make for- Do not mourn her. 
she is no, it's alone. the same dialogue. No, it's the same dialogue. Nope. All right. Try again. I get some. Uh, That's the spirit. That's the yeah. You make all sheep. Ah, uh, how do I get the beast again? The interior of the blade. Trying to think how we get that. Please don't. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I, I see. You're trying to get her to lower her guard. It's a gamble, but it might work. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. You walk down the stairs and lo she's. I am begging you. Hi. I can't believe. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. You were lying. Hmm. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. She pauses. You can address me as your royal highness. Is. So, what? you'll regret this. I promise you. But go ahead, run along and get whatever you're planning I think I've actually to done get. This. But you'd better hope that I don't slip these chains before you make it back down here. Slip these chains? She has to be bluffing, but you rush up to the first. Okay. If we're sure about this decision, you slowly oh, creep down the it. basement stairs. Where the prince is it? Your eyes dark. Where is she? You close the door behind you. Almost magically, its locks immediately click into place. Maybe they'll open if you finish the job. You step forward to investigate the severed, a trail of blood, and then you hear the quiet patter of feet against. Holy sh. Let me save. Like giving up? Are you serious? <sighs> As the princess rends flesh from bone, your limp fingers can no longer hold the blade. You gotta try all the options, right? You gotta try all the options. Your one last means of defense lying useless beside you in a pool of your cooling blood. I suppose you just lacked the will to fight back. Nee, me, nee, me, nee. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. The beast! All right. You're on a path. You're here. Let's do... Okay. Yep. And... Proceed. A warning. She will... Does a cat lie to a cornered... She could have... That's a... May... Proceed. All right, I'm going to try and... Kill the beast. The foul the beast. Of the cabin, the... You take. All right. The door to the base. The air. She grabs. I can smell. She sounds impatient. You carefully make your way down the stair. The last step gives wow, way to the dust. The jungle is pressing in on us. Hide. You see only a flat. Remember, she is. You're not. It doesn't matter what she. Her shining eye. I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. I'm not scared. I'm so much more than you. And a little splinter clutched in trembling hands won't save you from me. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you. The air's shifting. Move. You lunge to the side, picking a direction on instinct. As you land, you're buffeted by a gust of air, disturbed by the sudden motion of a massive body. The princess. Massive, mate. In an instant, she's pounced from uh. the spot where you would have been, her chains rattling across the floor behind her. Yeah. Before you can blink, she's gone, vanishing once more into the shadows. There's a chain so fucking long. 
You're faster than you were before, but you're still meek, reactive, prey. All right, lady, calm down. You whirl around to find her, and your gaze meets hers, a pair of shining eyes peering out at you from just beyond the basement stairs. So she's cut off our escape. Shit, what do we do? Cry. And to kill you because you're a threat to the world, I'm saying believe that's true. Oh, for the love of... You've given up the game. Great. All that will do is hasten her victory. So many useless thoughts run through your head. Thinking, thinking, thinking. You'll never hurt me if you keep thinking. Oh, uh, what? You want me to just fucking, like, charge at you and fight? Uh... You're deflecting. Stop hiding and show yourself. If you want to see me, you should get better at seeing. Fucking skill issue. She knows that her strength lies in shadows and secrets. She won't reveal herself unless she has to. She's coiling for another strike. Be somewhere else. We're on the back foot. The back foot keeps us nimble. Keeps us alive. It doesn't matter if it keeps us alive if it eventually... Thank you so much. Hey, thank you much for following, Omega. I appreciate that. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Um. I'm only using these fucking coupled saves because I'm dumb. Uh. Uh. Wave her to strike and hit her back. This isn't going to work. We're in her domain. We just have to stay alive. Let's just really take the fight of the creature in the den. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Forever, we're going to get tired. We're going to slip up. We have to take a risk. As the princess lunges from the shadows once yeah. more, you tighten your grip on the blade and lash out. It strikes, cutting deep, and the princess loses her focus, crying out in pained surprise as she crashes into you. Away! Away! Your sense Ow, beast. and can already feel the massive bruise blossoming on your ribs as she scrambles back into the darkness. Ha! <laughs> Look at that! We wounded her. That's one. And she wounded us. Bad trade. That hurt. Are you just the cornered animal you seem to be? Or could you be a rival? Uh, we'll see. She rears back, then leaps at you. More forceful, more ferocious, more serious. The scuffle is brief, and though you inflict a few deep wounds, you find yourself quickly overwhelmed by her savagery. You collapse to the floor, and she wastes no time before pouncing on you in a flurry of claws and blood, your nerves barely able to keep up with the onslaught. Entertaining, though. I don't understand much English. Just, just say that. Just say that. Oh, no, it's fine. Sorry. It's all good. It's all good. Yes, thank you, thank you. I do, I do, I do, I do the, the stream thing. It's a little, little hobby thing I do, yeah. It's a fun thing I like to do. It's, it's a good, it's a good old time. It's, uh, it's a fun thing. But I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoyed. Even, even though you maybe can't understand me like 100%, but, you know. You know! Uh, all my yelling and screaming is funny enough, I guess. Everyone likes loud noises. <laughs> By the end, you're lying in a nest of your own what? intestines. Spine severed, blood rapidly draining out onto the jungle floor. Oh shit, eh? The princess, drenched in both her blood and yours, idly prods your body. Oh, no, don't poke me. No, that's it then. Cornered animal it was. Fuck you. Do better next time. I still need to devour you. And it doesn't count if you're dead. Well, we're not dead, we're... But you don't have time to protest her premature observation of your death. Hmm. Because everything goes dark. And you die. Is there something different? The den. Oh. You're on a path in the... Oh! Yeah. 
We are. And this yeah. time we're not gonna run until we die. We're taking her head on and we're We're winning. gonna win! You felt her. She didn't have a soft underbelly. She didn't have blind spots. What could we have done that would have saved us from her hunger? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, so the saves we can go back. When someone tries to make you dead, you have to hit them back. You have to show them your authority. There's nothing worse than a bully that thinks they own you. Yeah, fuck them. Great. So you've been here before. That doesn't. Oh, this is all new. We have, we, we, have, we have not been here before. before. This is supposed to be one and done. Well, fucking get bodied, shit ass. Oh, shut up. It bodes fine. You're the reason we're stuck in this shit situation. Now I yeah. have to do the hard work of dragging us out. Yeah, thank you. And how do you intend to do that? Uh, yes, we'll fucking see, I guess. We're going to fight her, and we're going to win. There's a Gotta reason win. she slinks around in the shadows. Well, no complaints here. Now, hold on. We're not just going to let the fact that he knows things about this whole looping situation go, are we? Mm. He's not important. He can have his secrets for all I care. She's killed us twice now, and that's enough of a reason for us to want her dead. Revenge! Okay. What's the plan? Like I said, we're going to fight her. Yes. But we're so small. Oh, shut up. We don't actually know how big she is. We just know she wants us to think she's big. And if she's going to treat us like prey again, then she is sorely underestimating us. One good wallop. That's all we need to put her on the defensive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see this through. You make your way down to the mm -hmm. cabin. Your fated confrontation awaits. You know what to do. I love stabbing. We've already been over the plan. I'm not sure that use violence counts as a plan. I mean, it's funny. It's a better plan than you had last time. Me, 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 me. I don't like this, but I'll try to keep us breathing. Proceed. He's very the good at- The interior is dark and overgrown. Vines and brush obscure so much of the place that, had you not seen the exterior, you might not have noticed this was a cabin at all. Mm. The only furniture of note, if you could call it that, is a knotted stump, a pristine blade embedded in its exposed rings. Cool. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Take it. We're not fighting a monster without a blade. Even if it's not a very big one. It's something. Is no one going to mention the mirror? What are you talking about? There is no mirror. Yeah, it's you're crazy. It's just the stump and a narrow tunnel that leads to the basement. He isn't tricking us. Can you feel the wind? It's telling us there's a hole in that wall. Our eyes deceive us. Grant us if that eyes. If blocking our way, just smash it and be done with it. Take the blade. Yes, take the steel claw. You pull the blade from the stump, gripping it tight. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One step closer to ending this. Approach the mirror. You step forward, approaching the small hole that leads to the basement, hesitating before you enter the princess's lair. The lair. You heard him. Stop hesitating and smash that antique. That mirror isn't part of this place. It's seeped through from somewhere else. Oh. It, if there even is an it, is a hallucination. Like you said, you've been here twice before. Your mind was bound to start playing tricks on you eventually. I am a little crazy. It's so grimy. Mm. Maybe we can wipe it clean and finally get a look at ourselves. Smash! You bring your fist crashing down into the open hole leading to the basement, throwing yourself off balance and tumbling ah! headlong into the pitch black. No! If there were once stairs leading into the basement, there is nothing left to attest to their existence now. There is only a long tunnel of packed earth, growing more narrow as you descend. Right. It smells of mold and decay. The damp walls leave streaks of dirt along your body as you're forced to hunch, then finally squat down on all fours in order to continue. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Oh, well, yeah! As you crawl forward on hands and knees, you're met only with the sounds of ambient earth. No voice slinks confidently up the stairs, 
No entity threatens violence or pleads for safety. Okay. Stay quiet. Don't give her a sound. Shh. Then Stanley proceed down, down the stairs. You say nothing, maintaining the silence as you carefully make your way down into the basement. Quiet. The basement is dark and cavernous, a gaping maw threatening to swallow you whole. There is no light here, save for what little starlight has managed to filter down the tunnel. And though you can't see the vastness of the space, you can feel it. You're exposed. Well, this is, uh... Not great already. It doesn't matter if we can't see down here. We know where she is. Sure. You step into the shadows and are enveloped in total darkness. Your heart pounds in your chest, ears pricked, eyes wide despite the inky blackness, waiting for any sign of movement. And what? You're going to turn around the second she runs for us? You'll get us killed, you pathetic fool! Shush, you! There, she's about to strike. With the near silence of a determined predator, oh. the princess erupts from the shadows. But you've already started your swift escape. Stop it! Fight her! The conflict in your heart, though usually of little consequence, hmm. slows you down just enough. You don't make it into the tunnel before you feel her hot breath at your back, rushing up your spine and closing in on your neck as her teeth press into your skin. And... Death. Again. That's very satisfying. She's gone. And is that a... That was very satisfying. Uh, let's go back. Let's try surviving, I guess, this time. Survive. <laughs> a new patch of jungle, barely moving out of the way before the princess surges past you with a speed that makes her practically unseen. Deflecting. And you bear your weakness to the world. What do you want? I want to swallow you whole, and I will get what I want. You have no exit. You have no hope. You live and die by my whims, and my whims alone. Don't ask her what she wants, just slay her. Is that all the advice you have? We don't even know what she looks like. Some specifics would be very helpful. Actually, yes. She's just a princess. Don't overthink it. A little bit more than that, motherfucker. She's clearly not. A tickling sensation rises at the base of your neck. Uh. Flee. We can't keep doing this. You're a little slower this time. Or maybe she's a little faster. You avoid her slavering jaws, but she manages to graze you, her titanic momentum skinning you along your side. Ow. It's like being sideswiped by sandpaper. How is she that fast? You're bleeding now. Yeah, we what? What? You fucking, what, you think I'm gonna cry about it? You instinctively touch your side, testing her claim. It's wet and stings from the gentle touch of your fingertips. Mmm. A costly mistake. We can't make it again. We will make it again unless something changes. We have to break the pattern. We need more time. She's cutting off our escape. Our game is nearing its end. Sure. You cannot reason your way out of this, full edgling. There's no compromise with what I am. At least she's upfront about her intentions. She's more tense this time. She means this next blow to be the last. The mere thought of moving again makes your bloodied side ache. We're exhausted. We're bleeding. We're still alive. We owe it to ourselves to move. 
again. Once again, you narrowly avoid the full force of the impact, and once again, you are too slow to come so away unscathed. You're starting to get tired. You're making mistakes. I do it every day. This isn't working. We have to do something. We have to figure out a plan. Don't plan ahead. Act on the now. All that matters is that we stay alive. We're trying, but we can't keep this up much longer. We have to. We keep up or we die. You're getting slow. She seizes the opportunity, lunging once again from the darkness, fangs bared and claws flashing. She attacks over and over and over, and each time she leaves with a little piece of you. E. Too tired to think, but we have to think. We have to move. It's too late. Before you get the chance to react, it's over. She makes her last foray from the dark corners of the room, unhinging her dripping maw, her eyes fierce and full of hunger. You do your best to dive out of the way, and you partially succeed. You mean partially? Partially? Yes. The princess fails to swallow you whole. She only swallows oh! your lower body. That's just as bad. That's worse, even. That's even worse. It's death either way. At least this will be a faster end. You look down to see that the dirt between oh, you is good. with your intestines, trailing all the way up and disappearing behind her blood-stained teeth. Your legs are nowhere to be <laughs> seen. My legs! You start to go into shock. <sighs> the princess, bloody saliva dripping from her lips, idly gnaws on what's left of you as you rapidly fade away. I didn't mean to do that. I still need to devour you. And it doesn't count if you're dead. Yeah, well, we're not skill issue. Dead. We're... But you don't have time to protest her premature observation of your death. Because you're on a... That didn't work. We're going oh, now I have skeptic. this time. We're not getting stuck in another loop. Just acting on instinct. We're stuck in a big enough loop as it is. A loops, brother. Instinct was keeping us alive. Until it wasn't. So what are we supposed to do? Great. So you've been here before. That doesn't bode well. You're not supposed to- So you know more than you're letting on. Yeah, what he said. Of course I do, but believe me, it's in your best interests. The more you know about the princess, the more difficult your task will be. And why is that? Having me explain why would defeat the whole purpose. There are simply some things I'm not allowed to, see to tell you. to see what she actually it's looks like rule. here. And whose rule is it? Who's telling you to boss us around? We've died twice already, and if you want us to stay alive this time, it's in your best interests to give us an edge. It's my rule, and this conversation is over. Me, 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 me. You make your way. So, we need a plan. We've been over the plan. Go to her out of the shadows. Make her show herself. And what if she doesn't want to be seen? We'll figure out a way to make it happen. And if that doesn't make her any easier to fight, it will. It's always easier to fight what you can see, no matter how big or toothy she might be. Mm. She spent as much time as she could in the shadows. So we're gonna draw her out. But she's fast. And she's clever. We're clever too. So this time we're not gonna let her cut off our escape. We're gonna lead her to the stairs ourselves. It'll be a lot easier to deal with her once we can actually see what she is. But you already know what she is. She's a princess. A foul beast! Yeah, right. A princess we couldn't see. And one that had big, sharp teeth, too. How about you stick to describing things and we'll stick to doing our job? Eh. Sharp teeth. Anyway, the interior is dark and over. The only fur the blade is your implement. If there's a way forward, that mirror is blocking it off. What are you talking about? There is no he isn't tricking her. Then either way, we need to investigate. Mm. You 
You really think being unarmed is best? I hope you know what you're doing, but let's not forget that it's up here if things go south. The steel claw makes us sloppy, too confident. We'll be faster without it. You step forward, approaching the... Haven't you been paying attention? We're not hesitating. This supposed hole is blocked by that old mirror. That mirror isn't part of this place. It is so... You reach forward and wave your hand over the open hole leading to the basement. See? Nothing. Tricks of the eye. No one sense can be trusted on its own. You step forward into the darkness. The darkness. If there were once stairs leading to smell as you crawl forward on hands and knees, stay quiet. I'm ready to let you out of here. The princess leaves your remark unanswered. See? She knows. We have to be like her. Focused. Present. Patient. I suppose it'll take a little more than words to coax her out. Let's keep going. You put the voices to the back of your mind and proceed down the stairs. Yep, those are stairs. Mm-hmm. The basement is dark. Stay on your toes. We take a step into the shadows, and as soon as she moves, we jump back. Make her follow. From there, we trap her in the tunnel, draw her out of the cabin, whatever it takes to get her out of her element. Then we're safe. I don't have to do this. She doesn't respond. It seems that she thinks you do, in fact, have to do this. You step into the shadows and are enveloped in total darkness. Your heart pounds in your chest, ears pricked, eyes wide despite the inky blackness, waiting for any sign of movement. There, she's about to strike. We're screwed. I know. This wasn't part of the plan. We were supposed to come down here prepared with a weapon and... Well, what's the use? Oh. You just barely make out the shape of teeth and eyes as the princess emerges, enormous maw gaping, ready to swallow you whole. And... Fun, eyes glancing from the untextured threads the world unraveled. Am I free, this? Huh. That was kind of disappointing. There's not only much to that. She's gone. And there's that. I have to see her, I guess. That's neat. Seems this, like a more bigger version right of the beast. Thing reeks of death. You're right. Gaze into your reflection. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. All of me is... This one is consumed by instinct. A dancer moving to the rhythm of the flesh. She will make for a ravenous heart. She wishes me to devour you. To make you a part of my... What she is only able... Do not mourn her. For she is part of something greater. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. You hella dead. Ravenous heart, bring the den to her. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end... I'm gonna check... Gallery. Oh God, there's a lot. Oh Jesus. What the fuck? There's way more of this. Hold on, we're going back. We're going back. Yes, 
Take the steel claw. You pull the blade, odds are we'll need it. Thanks for not putting us in a bad spot. No problem. You step forward, approaching the small- Haven't you- That mirror- It is so- You reach for- See? You step- If it's- As you crawl- Stay quiet. You say nothing. Maintain the base- Stay on- You step into the shadows there. She's weird. I know. This wasn't part of the plan. We were supposed to come. You just barely make out the shape of teeth and eyes as the princess emerged. And... Mm. Yes. Take you pod. Have that it so... You reach for... See? You st if it smells, you stay... Princess leaves you see. I suppose it'll take a little more than you put the voice the best. You step in that's right. Keep steady. Don't let your nerves get the better of you. There, she's about to strike. With the near silence of a determined predator, the princess erupts from the shadows. But you've already started your swift escape. Uh -huh. That's stage one. Now stay focused. You dive into the tunnel and begin scrambling up towards the cabin. You hear her behind you. Claws raking at the dirt, chains rattling, then snapping. Breaths hot and heavy with the effort of the ascent. But the sounds are coming slower now. The breath is leaving the creature in the den. Cool. You no longer sense frantic motion behind you in the tunnel. You risk a glance. She is a broad and sickly creature, her withered and emaciated flesh clinging to bones too large to fit in the narrow space. She managed to squirm her way into the tunnel in pursuit, but now she's stuck, incapable of either moving towards you or returning to the open darkness of the basement below. Hmm. So that's what she's become. She wasn't like this when we started. Was she? Nope. No, she wasn't. Looking at her makes me feel... sad. <laughs> yeah. Now that we can see her, she doesn't feel like much of a threat at all. She paws oh. futilely at the air between you, but her shoulders are pinned in the narrow confines of the opening. She has no hope of reaching you. And she realizes this. Her arm goes limp, flopping to the dirt floor of the tunnel, and her eyes fall from yours, defeated. Her eyes look up at yours, wide, pleading. Come back, you can imagine them saying, don't leave me here. But you shouldn't listen to the sad eyes of a vanquished enemy. She wants nothing more than to change places with you. If you want us to ignore her, then why would you tell us any of that <laughs> quiet, pleasing eyes begging for mercy business to begin with? All it does is make us feel conflicted. Yeah, 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 he's got a point, you know? <laughs> I'm merely describing things as they are. It's not my fault that her eyes had something to say, even if that something was a ploy, which, if I might stress, I pointed out to you. What should we do about her anyway? Can she still end the world like this? She hurts. We should help. Now let's think for a second. Let's reevaluate. Mm. Should we help her? Mm, you know. Well, I do feel bad looking at her. Yeah. There's no way to get close without being in reach of those claws. We've come this far, but can we trust a creature that until a few short moments ago fully intended to eat us? I don't know. What an excellent question with an equally excellent answer. No, ah! you should not help her. She's clearly just waiting for you to drop your guard. And beyond that, you do well to remember that she poses a threat to reality itself. <sighs> you already have this a weapon. She's a big cat. She's as vulnerable as she's ever going to be. Kind of. How about you use it? I just realized she kind of has a similar thing going on with like our player character same like kind of hands you got like feathers and shit I'm just saying it's kind of it's kind of interesting mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. we don't need this anymore The princess's eyes go wide as the blade tumbles from your hand. 
You're going to get yourself killed. Pet the cat. What are you doing? We could all just turn around and pet the big cat. That's your game. <sighs> you and I both know there's no game. He's made a bad choice. As you draw near, she readies her claws, raising them to strike. Don't flinch. Show her our resolve. Be calm. Offer her your hand. You reach forward, offering the princess your hand. How ridiculous. Mm -hmm. She was about to kill you. Do you really think getting stuck in a tunnel for less than a minute has fundamentally changed her? No, but it's funny. Yes. She's a victim of her own nature, just like we are. If all she wanted was to kill us, she'd have kept trying. But she's hesitating, isn't she? Mm-hmm. <sighs> yes, she is. Her eyes shift from faux ferocity to confusion. Yeah, this is way better <laughs> than fucking she the first two we got. And places it in your hand. Ugh. <laughs> Do you think we can pull her out of there? I, uh, uh, I think I think we'd be a lot stronger than that. We have to try. It's a bad death being stuck in place. And what if it doesn't work? What if we can't trust her? We have to trust someone else eventually. It's either him or her. And I know you don't trust him. Mm. I don't even trust the rest of you. But that doesn't mean we have to go around pulling bloodthirsty monsters out of perfectly good traps. But we haven't seen what happens if we help her. Doesn't that mean it's worth exploring? Hey, it's funny. I can't argue with that. All right. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll finally get some answers. You turn, oh! but the princess remains stuck. What a shame that the bones of her massive form are too large to fit through the narrow tunnel. Keep pulling. All he has oh! are empty words. He can't undermine us if we don't listen. Sheer force of will has gotten us through a, a bunch of other shit. Let's just do it again. You are all infuriating to work with. But fine. You continue to pull on the princess's arm and she... starts to budge. She Let's pushes with go! Her legs, clawing at the earth, a burst of strength aiding your efforts. Big the dirt care. and stone start to crumble around her. Hmm. That's the spirit. Keep going. Keep going! Yes, quickly, before the whole tunnel comes down on top of us. Yeah, that'd be bad. Yes. Wouldn't that be an interesting development? What if the very nature of this tunnel was such that you were incapable of leaving safely with the princess? How devious hmm. does it collapse? Yes, it does. As you pull the princess free, the tunnel around you does exactly what you thought it might do. It falls apart. Trapped. No, we have to get out. We have to get out. It's too late to scramble for freedom now, little voice. You didn't think just pulling her out of there I don't know. would be consequence free, did you? Well, the ceiling collapses. Heavy stones tumbling down on top of you and the princess and... I don't believe it. Let me guess. Everything goes dark, and we die. No. Yeah. You open your eyes to see the Big princess. Cat. Her body stretched over yours, her face wincing as she shields you from the heavy rocks and debris. There is space enough for you to move, at least for now. I'll be damned. So there's more to her after all. The pack is always stronger than the Lone Hunter. We save her, she saves us. She understands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you can't keep saving each other forever. Her arms are already starting to give out, and there's a whole mountain of earth on top of her, just waiting to bury you both. We can always dig. Both of us. DIG! It beats suffocating <laughs> to death down here in the dark. Then let's do it. Dig through the earth, together! You and the princess dig through the loose earth of the collapsed tunnel, together. Together! But it seems the harder you try to claw your way forward, the denser the path becomes. All of this effort and for what? A chance to end the world? I hope you fail. 
That's not very nice. His words are nothing. Pay attention to what you feel and see. It doesn't matter if you ignore me, because I'm just telling you what's happening, and what's happening is that you and the princess are getting tired, and your mouths are full of dirt, and it's getting harder to breathe. Harder to breathe is still breathing. Oh, he's got a point. Well, either way, the two of you are miserable. I don't know. I feel like we're forming a bond with her. Yeah. Can't be all that bad if we're bonding. She's not capable of bonding. <laughs> Need I remind you that as soon as she saw you, she tried to eat you. You are not friends, and as soon as you're out, you'll see just how seriously she values your life. Yeah, we'll see about that. If you were so sure we were going to fail, you wouldn't sound so desperate. You're just hot air. There's nothing of substance to you at all, is there? Yeah, get up. Yeah, get up. Yeah, fucking get up. I have plenty of substance. I have feelings and desires. Like my desire to save everyone in the world. I feel that very strongly. I bet. Do you smell it? Fresh air. Oh, what's that smell? Oh, you way to freedom. With one final massive heave of her body, the princess pushes her way out of the tunnel, leaving you behind in the quickly collapsing space you once shared. However... This was an alliance of convenience, just as I predicted. She has left you to die, buried and alone. However, you are unbelievably petty. Oh, my pettiness is nothing compared to yours. You were delighting in my suffering and the damnation of the entire world just moments ago. It's because you're an asshole. She hasn't left. She's coming back. Don't you hear her? No, she isn't. She's... How many times do you I have know. to be wrong before you stop talking? The princess stares down at you from the opening. Before the tunnel can finish sealing itself, she cranes her elongated neck and gently plucks you from the earth. Uh. She carries you across the half-collapsed ruin that was a cabin, carefully setting you down by the door. Thank you! If there were to be a record, let it show that I tried. I really, really tried. But there won't be a record, will there? Hmm. Open the door and step into the wild. Breath of the Open wild. The, door, the two of you stepping out into the fresh air and collapsing together onto the dewy grass of the outside world. Ha! <laughs> We're outside and there's ground beneath our feet. I don't see any oblivion. Admit it. There never was an end of the world coming, was there? Well... He does not reply. Yeah, we got him there, didn't we? I don't think I've ever seen him stunned into silence before. Can't you feel the hole where he was? He's gone. Fancy that. I'm not sure gone is good. She press her head close to you, her eyes stare into your... Yours amid the untextured threads of the world unraveled. Are we free, they ask? I am cold, and I don't want to be cold. Say it, kitty. Shit. Okay, okay, that was a lot. That 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 one's a lot better. But you don't get your opportunity to respond, nor will you ever. Emily, the memory returns. Where did she? Oh, go? but unlikely alliance in the dark den. Oh, it's, it's, it's a glowing one. That means not a lot of people got that one. And there's that mirror. Approach the mirror. This that. You're right. Now rot. Okay, that was a lot. It was a lot more satisfying. I am a growing call of me. This one is consumed by instinct. But she wishes me to devour you. Do not mourn her, for she. I feel is like the dialogue should, should change, later. but whatever. We will know. What uh, maybe like maybe like two more. I will be here when it is time. For there goes Zog, and you fucking die, dumbass. You're on a path. Okay, so now I want to get to the prisoner. I'm thinking. You're here. Yeah, you make go. 
Try and kill the uh, the prisoner. The her voice should done. Good. You should focus on the. And there Again. you are. Are you here to kill me or something? You step forward. Oh, no talk. I'm probably chained up. So. She <sighs> Thank you. I don't know what. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Too long. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Do you? Doesn't matter. So you're not going to share? How pointless. If you want to talk, I'll talk. But this isn't talking. And we're using our words. I, th I say it's talking. She hesitates before answering. You can address me as... Again, she offers no specifics, no matter how hard... Oh, have... You know... That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too... One way or another, I'm going to find a way out. And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to... Re you have to make a choice. I know it's a chance we'll have to take. You're making a mistake. You turn your back. It won't be long, but... Slip either way. You'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have you closed... Okay, you still... She's... These aren't threats. These are promises. Sooner or later, you're going to have to sleep. And I'll make sure you never see the light of day again. You put the princess's threats out of Should your mind. Just look you up like what in the middle of the night. Where? where? Thanks at for this point. Get out of that. Oh. You try and it isn't all. Whose side are you? Yours. So how? She steps close. Or maybe what a shit. Your lung. I'd say better luck next time. It can't. I'm. S Everything goes dark. That's You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is uh... a princess. Hey. Ba 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 Rescue this. Damsel, witch, beast, nightmare. Uh, let me... Your honor, your... You make your way... Oh, she will... Okay, you have to be armed and then rest... The blade. You take... She said, don't let it... Don't be a stranger. And it's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Come on down! It's a nice you place! down the stairs. And lock eyes with the princess. She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? I'm just looking at the wiki. Okay. You step. Oh, I'm so. She's <sighs> Thank you. So here we are. What an awkward. Oh, have you know. You have to. You walk up to their large and. I'm guessing you don't. Maybe it's doubtful. Mm. 
I'll be here. You would his No, you might be easy. I heard the door the knife. You won't Against you cut the blade she turns. How is she Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we want as the print wait what Stop that I... your body ba -ba -ba -ba, resist the blade. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I'll make the She steps forward and maybe I'll and then her this is the I'm afraid. Prisoner, you're on a pump. You're here. Proceed. Oh, she will. Yes, yes. Yeah. Right, so I'm trying to kill her here and see what this leads us to. The interior of the, the only for the. I don't, wanna, I don't like spoil like what exactly happened, but. Eh, eh you know. You take the black good idea. Sure. All right. The door to the base. Her voice. Is that a visitor I hear? I wonder what visitors she could be referring to. Were we not the first? You walk down the stairs and lock. Should we be worried about? Why would you be worried about her? Have you noticed the? What an interesting development. Slay. This path is already worn by travel, and has been seen by one of my many eyes. You cannot walk it again. Change your course. Well. There's a, okay, there's something. You step towards the princess. There is fine. That's right. You do as she asks. Thank you. What did you hear me do? Let me borrow that knife. Don't worry, you'll get it back. Thus, but she seems confident. Whatever. Oh, please. She's just putting on an. Though, if she isn't. So, I don't know. Then let me help you. Act up there and the pro. There's a reason to trust you as you have to trust me, right? I do. So, I guess this all comes down to which of us caves first. And it's not going to be me. I'm extremely patient. It's probably better if we take action anyway. No use trying to wait her out. That's playing to her strengths. Sit down. Slide it over. No. Absolutely not. I am not letting you hand your only weapon over to the world-ending princess. Until you come up with any other idea, like, say, I don't know, doing your job and slaying her, you remain rigidly in place. Me, 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 me. Do you think this will work? Interesting that you're only having us remain in place. It's almost like there are very real limits to your power. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. The world ends if we fail. Right. Her killing us might not be our only failure state, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with this. Could you explain? Yes. Explain it. Because apparently I think here also leads to the drowned version of the thingy ending. Uh, but we can't go down because we already went down that one. So. Sure. I'm insinuating that we could kill ourselves. Yeah. Ruin this whole thing. You wouldn't. I'm not afraid of dying. Are you? A little. You got your point uh, across. Fine. <sighs> you slide the blade across the floor. The princess may How come she can pick it up? Eye contact as she reaches down to pick it up. Well, I did the funny thing and put the fucking thing around my neck and fucking just like zooped the fucking blade away from me. Thanks. She pulls up her hair. 
smiling slightly as she raises the blade to her throat. Amazing. What is she doing? She doesn't say another word as she cuts into her own neck. Beautiful. No. Content. Her eyes stare forward, fucked up shit before. as she soars through skin, veins, fucking razor, for example. At last, she reaches bone. This is the nothing to me. Grinding audibly against her vertebra as it continues mm. to slice its way through her neck. Ah, yes, that's that's good. Damned. She's actually doing your job for you. Why would she do that? Huh? So that's her play. Killing huh? herself? <laughs> she isn't dead yet. Finally. You hear a snap. Her eye twitches. There's an uneasy silence. She remains motionless for a long moment, her twitching eye the only movement in the room, until at last it stops in an unsettling half-wink. Beautiful. Her head twists slowly to the side, flopping to her shoulder, and her neck opens. Rody. The remaining tissue is not enough to hold the weight of her severed head. It stretches and tears until mm. finally it falls to the floor, completely free. It bounces a few times before rolling to a stop at your feet. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that great? Oh no, oh no, oh no. What did no, we do? No, no. Oh shit. Uh, can we put it back? Please tell me we can put it back. You can't put that shit back. The princess's eyes What do you stare mean? You. Dead. Congratulations. You saved the world. I didn't do shit. She did it herself. Huh. So I guess that's it. What a way to go. But she is gone, isn't she? A bit. I hate this. Can we just get out of here now, please? Of course, the princess is slain and the world is saved. Whenever you're ready, you can proceed to your reward. Now hold on. She's dead. So what's the rush? What's your angle? I don't have mm. an angle. I'm just looking forward to putting all this behind us. I'm sure you can understand that. Hold on, I'm just reading the Discord thing. Uh... Oh, fucking Nana didn't do the laundry. I don't have to worry about D and D stuff today. So okay, cool. I was just thinking like, oh yeah, I should check Discord. We're gonna have the 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 Persona D and D stuff today. No. Cool, cool. Look, I'm just not ready to put my guard down. It's best to keep sharp. She wouldn't have done all that without some kind of reason. She's left us with this dangling thread. I need to know why. Yeah? You're just wasting your energy. The danger has passed, and now we can all relax and enjoy your reward. Mm. Fine, but if we're leaving, then we're taking the blade. I feel exposed without it. With your work done, you remove the blade from the princess's corpse and make your way back upstairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. You can think of it as sealing yourself off from an unpleasant chapter of your life. It's all uphill from here. The windows. Do you see that? We used to be able to see the outside world from up here, but now it's just empty. Ba -ba. The door. Check the door. You open. Shit. Oh, the door. Ready to return the world saved from certain doom. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. 
You don't have to act surprised. We could see this vast emptiness through the windows. Mm-hmm. But if everything's gone... Does that mean we're not going to get our reward? Oh, for you see, this is the reward. This Nothing. is your reward. An eternity of bliss, if you'll have it. And I suggest that you have it. That's cringe. Okay. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Like hell it is. You get a better ending for saving the world. This isn't an ending. <laughs> In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No, this is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. Like I just Got told it. you. Got it. no reward. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Decades? No, it can't be decades. We can't go along with this. We can't let him win. Yeah. I want to die again. What do you suggest? We still have a blade. Let's use it on ourselves and start over. That sounds fun. He's suggesting you kill yourself. You shouldn't kill yourself when you have an eternity of bliss right in front of you. Slow yourself. You goddamn spiteful bastard. Are you really <laughs> going to turn down immortality itself just to make me lose? Yeah, because it's boring as shit. Why should it matter if we die at this point? Haven't you already gotten what you want? I don't have to answer that. Fuck you. That's all we needed to hear. You raise the blade. I stab myself. Into your heart. Ugh. You collapse to the floor. Everything goes dark and you die. You're a genocidal maniac, you know that, right? You shut the fuck up, you're projecting. Yeah. Shut we'll up. see about that. Okay. You're on a path in the woods. Trees everywhere. This is different. This is new. Hmm. It's worse is what it is. Oh, uh, it's, uh, it looks, looks real fun. We're finally starting to see reality for what it is. This place is a prison, and she's not the only inmate. No more of her. You're acting like reality is this dealt with that before. thing. But this world is constantly changing around us. How can you be so sure that you aren't breathing the prison into existence? That by feeling the walls closing in on you, that's exactly what they do. I don't know, man. What a crock of pretentious bullshit. Reality mm. is as solid as the ground beneath our feet. And if we just examine it, if we apply enough scientific rigor, if we think hard enough, we'll find a way out of here for good. Don't you see? We're already making progress. Uh, I mean, I guess. But what if looking at it is enough to make it change? Where does that leave us? It leaves you exactly where you are right now, and presumably exactly where you've been before. Deja vu. I'll spare you my full introduction, since you've clearly already heard it at least Thank once. Thank you. But I would like to remind you that the people in my world are living, breathing, suffering entities, and not pawns for you to sacrifice in pursuit of some vague truth. But, um... I don't care. <laughs> now, should we talk about how we still have the blade? We've never started with the blade before. Oh, do we now? Oh yeah, because you're cursed. Huh. I hadn't actually noticed. Hmm. Holding it's starting to feel natural, isn't it? Hmm. Of course it feels natural. We've had it with us every time. We've made it part of us. Part of us. One of us. Uh. Don't be weird. It's just a tool, not some mystical object. Though starting with it feels like an indication that we're on the right track. Hmm. This is strange. You're not supposed to start with the blade. It says right here that you're supposed to find it at the cabin. Oh well, I suppose that doesn't make much sense anyway. It's better if you start with a weapon, so this is probably for the best. It's just the more, op the more optimal thing, right?
Fenu Slayer. She cut up. She cut her own head off last time. She, what? Yeah. Why would she ever do that? She's not supposed to be suicidal. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It is what it is. More importantly, if she did cut her own head off, why are you here? You shouldn't have died. You should be enjoying your reward. The reward was cringe, and so are you. We killed ourselves, obviously. You were insisting that we were happy, but we knew we weren't. We could see right through you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Fuck you. Yeah, what he said. We weren't about to be stuck somewhere being fed non-stop bullshit forever. We want answers. We weren't gonna find them in your fake little paradise. Yeah, you little shot. There are no answers to find. If she was dead, then that was it. That was the solution. All you managed to do was reset the board. And you put the pieces back all wrong while you were at it. Yeah, this yeah, is probably yeah, worse yeah. for you, if I had to guess. Ha! So there is a board. <sighs> well, what's done is done and you're here now. There's no use arguing. There's no Just use! get to the cabin and settle this. Try not to kill yourself this time. You're not my mom. Save here. Hi out there, let's go see her. You stand at the edge Ooh. of a cliff. An abyss yawns beneath That's you. That's funky. Empty and endless. The only path forward, a rusted metal bridge. The cabin looms on its far side. I think you already know what waits for you within. Yes. It's like the world itself doesn't want us to reach her. There's nothing to find out here. Time to check in with the missus. Yeah. I'm going to pretend you didn't just call her. <laughs> why did you, why did you call her? Because <laughs> we're in love. The cabin is draped That's why. In chains, the air filled with the mock bird song of metallic clinks. Where there should be walls, you can see only endless ropes of metal hmm? with hooks dangling from their ends. A fitting cage for a monster destined to end the world. I suppose so. There's nothing for you to do but step forward into the basement. You already have your weapon. Your objective awaits. And how are we supposed to get to the basement? I don't see a way down. All I see is a mirror. What mirror? There is no mirror. The only thing of note here is the door to the basement. Oh boy, here we go. Again. It clearly serves some purpose, but what? Is there something about us we're supposed to see? Can it be a tool of some kind? A tune. Or is it a distraction? Something meant to confuse us? Can we please stop talking about the mm. mirror? I'd rather not spend more time in this room than I have to. It's creepy. Don't like it. Approach. Step out onto the floor. Or what should have been a floor. Ah, oh, fuck. Should have been? Yes, unfortunately. You realize too late that there is no floor beneath the metal. There is only a loose web of chains suspended over some unseen space. An unseen space that you are now rapidly plummeting through. Whee! Nothing's solid here, is it? It's all just a shifting mass waiting for us to drop our guard. Your fall is suddenly painfully halted as mm. rusty chains pull taut against your skin, their hooks digging into your muscle. Wonderful. You find yourself suspended in what appears to be a vast, dark space. Oh yeah, that's the lovely. The of yet more chains merely hinting at its full dimensions. You dangle a few feet off the bare concrete floor. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. No shit, Sherlock. As your eyes adjust to your new surroundings, you make out a figure standing in the gloom, obscured in shadow. She watches you with the stillness of the grave. Fun. Easy now. We don't know what sort of situation we're dealing with. We should let her make the first move. Let observation give us an advantage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why the hell did you cut off your head? Why the hell did you cut your head off? But you are met with only silence, save for the creaks and groans of metal as it sways in the stale air around you. 
the hooks slowly shift in your skin, the pain coming in waves as you continue to dangle helplessly. Fun. What if the chains don't have to be real? What if they aren't real? <laughs> they're, not, they're not real, just don't pretend. Uh, they feel plenty real to me. Yeah, it would be nice if we could just tell ourselves the chains aren't real. I don't real think she has her head. And they'd magically go away. But I'm afraid that's wishful thinking. Well, maybe wishful thinking is what we need. Maybe they're real, but maybe... Maybe we can cut through them. It's worth a try. Hello? The princess takes a slow step forward. As she does so, the heavy chains shift, tightening and tearing at your flesh. Your oh. joints screaming in agony as the rusted hooks dig deeper. Stars dance in your eyes as the chain wrapped around your neck threatens to choke you. Oh, nice. As your vision comes oh, back into head focus, in a cage. your eyes fall on the body of the princess, finally emerged from the shadows. The body of the princess is a weird way to describe a person. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a little weird. It's only accurate. The form in front of you is a body. Draped in raiments of chains, her head dragging along behind her in an iron cage. The head stares up at you but says nothing, and the chains squeeze ever tighter. Time to cut your stuff you try to move your arm, but the hooks buried deep in your wrist and elbow keep you firmly, painfully in place. You do your best to rotate the knife in your palm but it only clinks against the metal chain, unable to do so much as leave a scratch. Beautiful. The body takes another step towards you, the chains around you tightening, the hooks boring deeper into your flesh. They constrict dangerously around your throat. You find it harder to breathe. <coughs> I don't think she's happy you're here, but what do I know? I'm just a set of eyes and ears. I don't make choices. At least not any that matter. Right. I don't want to die like this. I don't want to die like this. Somebody do something before she kills us. Please. Uh, I got a lot of ideas right now. We're stuck here. What are any of us supposed to do? Reason with her? I don't think she's acting rationally. I think she's lost it. Like a body, their body and a head a little separate right now. doomed from the start, wasn't it? Major choices, you never stopped your choosing violence. What do you mean? You just watch you cut off your own head last time. You made that decision. This is my fault. You made the decision. What's the point of making a choice if it all ends the same way? I'm still stuck, and you're just as stuck as I am. Hmm. I am very stuck right now. It's just another shade of the oh. same endless cycle. I wake up in chains. The body steps forward. Your bindings tighten again. Ow. You come to me, knife in hand. The body steps forward. The pressure on your limbs is becoming unbearable. Uh! You give me your implement. The pressure is finally too much. Ow. Your fist unfolds as your joints swell with trapped blood and your pristine blade tumbles helplessly to the ground. Mm. I cut myself free. <laughs> she's not insane, is she? No, she's she's just right. It's all it's all been the same. <laughs> the whole time. It's fucking losing it's all it, man. Been the same. Oh god. We never had a say. If he's gonna make any choices at all. Same every time you play, it's an indicament of how free will, it's just how things happen to play out. I could have thrown away the knife in the woods if I wanted to, but I would choose to come with it. What was I supposed to have done? Did you want me to carry your severed head out of the cabin with me? I thought you were dead. That is what I wanted, but you didn't do it. And I don't think you could have done it. The walls are what the walls are. So give in with me. None of this is up to us. She steps forward yet again, 
As the chains dig into you, your nerves screaming, your heart pounding, your lungs desperate for air. I don't think we can hold on to you much longer. How many times will we have to do this? I'm tired. Yeah, but This is all getting so predictable, isn't it? Pop. Alright, cool. And hit the ground on your body lightweight so you can leave wrong or all stop. Kind of rattling chains and heavy thud against what was once you fall to the ground everywhere and somewhere nearby. I'm able to take action, I'm able to defend yourself, and able to even look around as the princess's body steps towards you one slow rhythmic step after another. Stoops down to pick you up and then the shadow rises behind the body blade glinting. And now the cut. It strikes, it strikes true, the body drops its cage in pain. They descend on each other in a maelstrom of chains and hooks and feathers and blood, fighting their way deeper into the shadows until all you're left to witness are the sounds of violence. See? You only ever thought you were in control. Isn't it so much nicer to let go? Mmm, not really. The nice and just separate ahead. You didn't cut yourself free. My body is still the one with the knife. Does that mean this is different? Does that mean you broke your pattern? Huh. I guess you're right. Pattern must be wrong then. Aha. Maybe if we keep watching, we'll figure it out. And we've got nothing else to do but watch. True. So, you and the princess watch as your bodies weave in and out of the shadows, performing their lethal dance. Look at us go. Aren't we beautiful? Oh yes, we're very beautiful right now. Your movement is gorgeous and primal and uninhibited. Steel clashing against steel and flesh rolling off of flesh. It's all going to come to a head soon. Yeah. <laughs> head. I get it because head. You know, you're 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 real fucking funny. And last, the climax plays out. Your body withered in chains and shadows makes its final move, but it does hers. Her chain shatters spine and blade pierces her heart. I guess I'll see you next time. I guess. Both hers and yours collapse. The dance complete. Blood drips from the princess's mouth and she coughs. It's cold. But that's always been us, hasn't it? Cold isn't bad. I guess not. Respond where you ever suddenly memory returns. Say nothing. Remain stuck between the walls of the pattern in a steely cage. No exit. Yeah, oh, also, yeah, that would play like a completely different way if we had the knife. You are unraveled. I like that one. That was good. That was good. I like that. Yeah, approach. Very interested how like that goes if we don't have the knife. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. So what did you think about this one? This one is a body that convinced herself she was only a set of eyes. She will make for a watchful heart. La 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 la. Do not mourn her. She is now what she wished that she could be. Hmm. One. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta get the last one. The next time I see you, I will be here. Alright, we got one more. One more for today. Open heart or a watchful one. Bring the cage to her.
You're on a path, you're here to... Peace offering, things you leave behind at the edge of freedom. It's a little cold, isn't it? Basically, just gonna get like one more, and then we're oh, there's still like a bunch more of the witch, but like we haven't like gotten her like out of there, so you know, um, of the needle for eye of the needle so we gotta do adversary arm fight attack too late and then fight so I guess I guess I guess I guess we're going for that one for our last one I am the needle. Alright, so we need a blade, we need to attack you late. Proceed. The uh. done. Good. She focus. And there you are. Are you here? You step. Oh, I'm prop. So she's. Thank you. I don't. So here we are. What an awkward start. Oh. You Doubt, unfortunately. A moment of distraction and hesitate. Feel. Oh, though she's up your boy can. You and the pricks. Do you. Can you not? The two of you. Oh. The two. The, the, do, you, oh. do you not have time? You're, you're here. Alright, proceed. A warning. She will love it. The, the pricks. The cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. Its cold stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pris- The blade is your- You take the blade from- Up. Oh. Yeah, let's see what this is gonna be. After this one, anyway. The door to the base per fierce void. Is that another challenger? This isn't what good. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your as you descend the fight. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the Oh, it's you again. And I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. And you brought your I'm going to With a singular focus, you launch off the wet stone right. floor of the basement Let's go! and catapult yourself I got a headlong fist towards fighter. the princess. <laughs> that went real well the first time. Just... Here we go. Let's it was funny, though. Oh, we'll make it count all right. You can feel flesh give way before a sudden impact blunts your momentum, your weapon tightly lodged in the bone of her arm. Nice. She grins at you from behind her guard. Pull it out. We'll try a different angle. No. We can do this. Just keep pushing. We're not gonna win if our weapon's stuck in her arm.
Apparently pushing it in will uh, get her like thing here. So unlodge. You pull back on the blade's hilt, doing your best to free it from its sinewed prison. But as you tug the blade free, the princess slams you down onto her knee. Oh. It collides with your ribs, and you feel them splinter, cracking like wet wood from the impact. And you find yourself in midair, effortlessly tossed across the room. What? You hit the floor, your ribs complaining painfully. But you can feel the hilt in your grip. You still have your weapon. You push yourself off the ground and attack the princess, trying to bait an opening. Take the bait. You do your best to outplay her, slashing out and leaving red cuts in the tattered remains of her white dress. But you have little moon to maneuver. For every glancing blow you manage to land, she slams you against the wall in retaliation, each <coughs> impact threatening to be the last. This weak little dance isn't working. Just toughen up and overpower her. Just toughen up, yeah. Fuck. She's throwing us around like a ragdoll. I think overpowering her is a little out of the question. Did you think you could stop me with a few cuts? All this dancing around is doing nothing but annoying me. I own this place, and I own you. Well, it's very strong, so you know you you kind you kind of live here, so I can't really you know. But but you can't own a person. That's that's fucked up. The princess's uh. arm shoots forward, her palm wrapping around your head, fingers gripping your skull. Uh. How disappointing. She squeezes. The Why? pressure unbearable as her fingers dig into your scalp. The last thing you hear is the unsettling crack of your skull and the sickening churn of what was your grey matter. Nice. Everything goes dark and you die. Beautiful. The eye of the needle. Right, what is this? You're on a path in the wood. If you weren't so damned afraid of what she'd do to you, we wouldn't have died back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fear is good. Fear keeps us alive. We died because you didn't have enough of it. What is this? So what? You'd have us cower in a corner? No, but that place suits her better than it suits us. She's big. We can't hope to find holes and openings down there. We need more room if we're going to survive. Yeah? Are you suggesting luring her into the woods? Do you have any idea how dangerous that would be? If you lose sight of her, if she manages to slip away, that's it. Game over for everyone, yourself included. Ah, you're just... You're just, you're just being dramatic. Are you not challenging us on all the looping? Have you known about it the whole time? Are you the same one we've been talking to since the beginning? Hmm. Sorry to disappoint what I'm sure must feel like a grand revelation, but that's not what's going on here. We've never met. It doesn't matter. We could go in circles forever. I don't like staying still for too long. Let's get to the cabin, see this through. It's good to know that at least one of you is still capable of reason. We may have the same destination, but we're not the same. You are still an other, and I don't trust you. Proceed. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up the hill at the cabin. I hope no last advice for us. No words of warning. Just don't fuck it up. What I gather, you've heard it all before. There's no use screaming into the wind. <laughs> I don't know. Screaming sounds pretty good right about now. Ah! I could like use that? a little catharsis. Catharsis is for when we're finished. For now, we need to hold it out in front of us. Something to chase. Proceed. The interior of the cabin is suffocatingly tight. More of a glorified tight. tunnel than a building. Its stone walls squeeze against your sides, leaving you no choice <gasps> but to press forward. The only furniture of note is an iron altar jutting out from the wall. Like Christine Blade on his edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. See? We have even less space than before. We need space or she'll kill us. And the only space is out there. Take it. A little funny save. 
Oh, sure. You take the blade from the altar. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Mm-hmm. Good. There's no overcoming her without it. We need every part of us to survive, and that steel claw is as much a part of us as any. Approach. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You do see it, right? Yep. Always Oh, you see the Why don't we wipe it clean? And you bring your fist crashing down against the <laughs> door leading to the basement. It swings open, scraping against the floor as it reveals the dim path ahead. Oh boy. Before you is what may as well be a sheer cliff face. Oh god. There are enough footholds that you'll be able to clamber your way to the bottom, but it will require careful effort. The air hissing up from below is warm and wet, like the breath of an enemy locked in close quarters. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Probably. Her voice, bold and fierce and impatient, echoes from the chamber below. Do you have more fight in you than last time? That was such a disappointing show. I know you can do better than that. I, I, I don't know. Go to her. <laughs> I don't know Why about that. Up. If she's angry, she'll make mistakes. Mm. If I ever you come and get one. That's not how this works. I'm all chained up, remember? How about you come down here and fight me? We'll need to show ourselves. Make her boil over and forget her metal bindings. Fine by me. Continue to the fucking no basement. Where to go but down. You start the difficult journey, gripping the stone, lowering yourself foot by grueling foot. But soon, there is solid ground beneath you. Ah. Remember every crack and crevice. We'll need to be faster than her. Yes. You turn to face what hey. lies at the end of the narrow tunnel. The princess, imposing and tightly muscled, Yes, there's that wonderful smile darkness. again. Oh, God. Uh. Her face widens into a broad grin. There you are, knife in hand. How thrilling. Attack me, bleed me, twist the blade in my flesh. Break your bones against my body. I want a real challenge this time. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We can't get that close. She'll kill us in the tight space, steel claw or not. Make her come to us, stand beyond her chains, and let her become frenzied. She'll break them. Then we run. Alright. I really don't like the sound of this. Come on, it's fun. It's the only way we live. Well, what are you waiting for? If we're gonna do this right, you can't be scared. You need to want this as much as I do. So go on. Make the first move. Don't keep me waiting. Hmm. Close. I want to be free. Why do you insist on fighting me? Death down here in the dark. This again? What does free even mean? Here and there, none of that matters. I'm always in a body. I'm always in one place. Why do you act like you know me better than I know myself? Oh, you know. I've been places. I had what I wanted. I had something perfect and it ended. And now that it's gone, you just keep... Yeah, dangling it in front of me. It's more than teasing. It's cruel. It's cowardly. It's selfish. Right. I know what I want, and I'm sick of waiting. Bloody desire in her eyes, the princess rushes forward, ignoring her chains as they bend and snap. Oh. Run. Got it. Got it. 
Without hesitation, you turn Run! back the way you came and scramble up the ledge towards Run the tunnel. Run quickly! As you near the top, hands desperately clawing at jagged stone, you glance back. The princess is right on your heels. Uh, she doesn't bother to scale the wall uh, as you do, instead digging deep into the rock of the cliff face with her fingertips in her rabbit pursuit. Uh, 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 Anywhere you go, I will follow. Oh, I, I'm sure. Good. Good. You reach the ledge and hoist yourself up into the tunnel, the cabin door finally in sight, at once within your grasp and infinitely distant. What is all of this for? What's the point? You and I are always going to end in violence, so why bother to run? I know what I am. Why can't you be the same? No, no, I'm a little... I'm just built different. <laughs> little bird, little bird, where do you think you're going? <laughs> we're almost <laughs> there. Don't think about almost. We're there when we're there. We're almost there! And we'll take the fight with us. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Your skin hums tight with adrenaline as you burst through the cabin Whee! door and roll onto the grass. You glance back at the cabin as the princess, singular in her desire to destroy you, explodes through the doorway. Nice. You are walking a dangerous path. If you waver once, it's all over. So get it right. You got it, fam. There's nothing left to slow me down. Do you think this is better for you? Do you think this space gives you an edge? Then show me. Show me that you've been worth all the room you've taken up in my head. Do it. Damn, I just live rent free? God damn. Be swift, strike true. I'm just, I was in your head living rent free. That's crazy. Move you. Hmm. Ooh, I'm kind of I'm interested in that, though. You're fucking... You're free now here. I have the other hand, but we don't have to fight. The princess scoffs. Free? This is just another place. This is just... What is this? Where are we? This doesn't feel right. It's... It's cold. Why is it so cold? I feel so tired. Free someone who doesn't want to be free. The blind. The blind leading the blind. It's on your way over. It's time to leave. Return. Dude. Fall right into my trap. Oh, we'll see about that. Traps aren't real. The only thing that's real is bloodshed. There will be she blood. Charges, fully determined sure. to end you in a single move. Left now. <sighs> As the princess strikes, your body swerves to the left. She overextends, stumbling as her balance shifts unexpectedly. Strike. Before you can finish the thought, you lash out, the blade slicing through her leg. She turns to swing again. Right. You move out of the way, but this time it's not quite as clean. You can feel a bruise already blooming where her elbow crashed into flesh. Uh. It's nothing. A scratch. Yes, it could be worse. And you managed to gift her another cut in return. I'll be damned. Let's go. Yeah, I actually just realizing now she's more kind of like a dragon, I guess. Which, you know, princess, dragon, you know. We're actually going to pull this off, aren't we? You just might. But don't let it get to your head. Not until it's over. It's not over yet, Snake. Yes, finally. This is the hole I felt in my heart. This is what I've needed. This is what I've been missing. This is how it always needed to end. Both of us giving it our all, beating and bleeding each other to death. Blood for the blood god. The two Skulls of you are a devastating flurry of blows, each of you wounding the other again and again. She's stronger, but you're faster, and the deeper the both of you fall into your lethal <laughs> dance, the more your edge shines over hers. She's slowing down, blood pouring from wounds, splattering at her feet, leaving her weak and unsteady. 
More. Keep going. We can't stop now. Ah! <laughs> you spy an opening. Stab! But this time she's waiting for you. She lets you sink the blade deep, trapping you in place long enough to wrap you in her impenetrable arms. You're slammed to the ground. Uh, nothing. These blows are nothing to us. But her gambit wasn't enough to close the gap. It wasn't enough to kill you. She stares you down, coughing up a splash of blood as she gasps for breath. <sighs> You've outplayed me. Haven't you? Get fucked, gamer. Something feels wrong. Something. And? Then what happens? Meow. My open field, Laura Hawking Foe to Adventures to Rain and Ween. I got a Ween! You do not have the chance to respond, or you ever. It's time for you to leave. Never returns. Cool. And there's that approach. This, this doesn't that thing. Re Screw the mirror. We. Word. I think you know. Anyway, fuck you. that I am bring the eye of the needle to her the a burning heart Whee! good shit I'm gonna do whatever like happens like with this me like trying to kill her see you. And you can f It's been so long. And my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you, dear. Hmm. I don't really know what that means. Names are there. Ever the passive play when the echo spun up. So, boy. You have a say in all this? It's not falling under me. Of course, I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflect it. If you're saying that. that, it's because you. Violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. Oh boy. I crush you. I bleed you. I grind you to paste. My scars are a memory of what you used to be to me. I want those feelings back. I'm sure you do. You run, but you do not run away. You take me somewhere new. Somewhere we can dance like we used to. But I could not follow your steps. And maybe you gotta get better at dancing. There was no better gift for me than the gift of defeat. You showed me how much more I could be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You learn from failure. We made each other better. To have no challenges to fade into nothing. A life without obstacles is no life at all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll come for what we've been through. I mean, all obstacles are equal. Meaning not exist in absence of pain. I thought you'd protect others. Uh. We yeah. have. Look at what we are now, and see how small we were then. Uh. Fear is a chain around the neck and a needle in the eye. It was fear that made our prison. And it was fear that told the lie that our a spirits fear. were not free to choose. But together, we left it all behind, and found a world free of burdens. We found the beauty in accepting our dance. Hmm. This construct is a machine of fear. It has no place in our divine hearts. Shatter it. Leave with me.
more than fear it is round it injected the world is free of it you speak to a value a hand on my body and made me want to kill each other you denounce fear and yet the lord and violence try to say beautiful can there be courage without fear and is courage not beautiful you're right there's nothing for us here it's more than just fear and reality it's just because you can reject it does not mean Other again and again and yet here we are bound only by our final shackles it will have all been worth it once we're finally free you are devout pray for something bigger than you that stalks and slinks and shadows like a little ears had a dance unfinished and you had questions in need of answers and in the cold starlight, you found them. Fear reflected in the eyes of that which terrified you. Even the cruelest of monsters are not unworthy of sympathy. Within me, nothing is beyond redemption. Together, we dug through hell. And together, we found our freedom. Yeah. He has no attention because the change comes from gently, but transformations were born of destruction. Without you, are you sure of yourself what you think the world would stop? Born of destruction and violence. That's true. I am but the illusion of destruction. People fear that death is their true end because they cannot fathom new beginnings. It is empathy to accept me. Okay, buddy. My, My mass is mob you. There is no there beginning. Is no there is no There is only the flood of bodies. There is only the flood of bodies. Every, of body. moment, you you every moment you hold every possible sensation Every moment you hold them every all again. sensation at and once. You them all again. And then you hold them all again. Jesus. But in the end, but you the reflected, end, it, you back reflected it back at me. For a brief, For a brief moment, moment, both, both of, of us were everything. everything. We, can we can be, be everything, everything again. again. We, can we can weave a beautiful and endless song. We sure could. Uh... Everything at once. It was being nothing at all. Why would either of us want that? Yeah, fucking that one. Yeah. Here is where words fail us. So long as we both exist, we will always be distinct. The only thing to fear is a reality without me. I kill uh. you. You kill me. Back and forth we go. Faster and faster and faster. I kill you. You kill me. That's correct. Hollow eyes watched from the dry corners of a memory. A home built on all the futures that were supposed to be. Preserved until the moment of reunion. The fire of the heart sets it all ablaze. Upon the heart. Upon the heart. Sorry. If I kill you and me. An ending is a passion that can only be expressed for the moment in time. It is a seed for a new beginning. To linger on an ending is to rob it of its life. Hmm. And without me, all that's left to do is linger. There it is. Until the second thought, when you returned, you set this breath of blaze and remained while you burned away. You speak of me as if I am a ghost, but I am right in front of you. In your blades, you mean to shake your will rapidly dissolving. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept Open your eyes. we are. We can leave this prison together. Together. I 
gonna do slay. I think that's not the most fitting. But I can't let everything die. Slay the princess. Even now you think you can destroy me. If it takes all of eternity to break your delusion, I will still break it. Alright. You don't have to face her alone. You'll never be able to strike a decisive blow from out here. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. It's time to resume. She's relentless, isn't she? You can't, and lucky for you, I'm not... Probably for the best. The stairs. It's almost over, isn't it? Well, that's okay. Let's just talk. Uh. The two of us. One more time. Before you kill me. She sounded just like that. Timid and gentle. Only she didn't know us. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Uh. You're really going to do it then, aren't you? You're really going to kill me. You don't have to. You know that, right? But if that's what you want, we might as well talk a bit first. I wouldn't mind a few extra minutes. Then maybe you don't have to kill me. Maybe there never even has to be an ending. I'm able to do the things you believe me to be able to do. So make me put it all back. Help me fix this place and make us both forget. Help me send us back to the beginning, before we woke up, before either of us saw the truth. Mm. Can she really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? You're sitting and do anything to help them. Out there. Now I know I haven't done this before. Maybe we have done all of this before. Maybe we're supposed to do this forever. That doesn't sound very great. I say the one replaying the game over and over again. And help them, people out there, if you continue to exist, then don't they continue to die and suffer? If you can believe this helps them, then it will help them, right? That sounds very flawed logic. <laughs> Go back from eventually. And when we do, we'll make the same choice. We'll choose to forget, and we'll reset everything, again. No, things won't end worse, what if... Make my way back here, I'm different. Hurt you, what if I kill you? What if I let you bring about the end of everything? None of that will happen. Because you'll still be you. And I'll still be me. You know, like we'd have to decide this every single time forever. Eventually, something is going to be different. I know, because it doesn't matter how many times we've hurt each other. I've never stopped caring about you. Uh. And if you feel the same? Then everything is going to be okay. Hmm. Look at our plan. Okay. If this is your choice, then we're doing it. I guess I'll see you on the other side. She takes the blade from our hand. She raises her gentle eyes to ours, a fondness in her gaze. Uh. Everything is going to be okay. I love you too. Stab! 
You're on a path. You're here to slay her. This is different. If you don't. This is fucking it different. Be the end of the world. A oh, path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. Mm. That's entirely satisfying to me, really. Take a screenshot. Um. Yeah, I don't want any outside help. Is the thing. That's that's kind of that's kind of the thing. To go back here. Uh... You leap from the grass and bound towards the princess, keeping low. Charging me head on. Brave and foolish. Her body braces for impact, anticipating the clash. That's where you're both wrong. Left now. As the princess strikes you. <laughs> this that's I think I feel like doing all of that shit uh will lead us to the usual shit. I think. I can finally see you and you can finally see me. It's been uh, so long ever when these Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. You fall into yourself. Body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation. You feel the sensation of your limbs and scream to fathom. Things here, except for her, is you. You feel wings spanning a cosmic scale. Twist a couple of rounds. Like you the glass of your cage pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it, but does not yield. I love you. Ugh. Take her hand. Breaks. Oh. Kaleidoscope. Go free, and she is it's with you. I know what's the thoughts. Describe absolute reality. Something that simply is. What happens now? Everything. Just like it always is. Grass. Been. We're touching grass. Like oh my god, it all makes sense. Go into the infinite. I forge with thousands of dawns and thousands of sunsets, each of contains a thousand more. You exist, and you, but, and you are aware, just as you have always been, and just as you always will always be. The conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone, the two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. Only new beginnings. There are no endings. I'm not satisfied yet. I'm not satisfied yet. Hold on.
approach. Gaze. I think you. They probably just say it once we get that. Uh, it, it literally doesn't take that long. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I can finally see you. Check, check this. Violence has always been our language, hasn't it? I love violence. This is what it takes to save you. Then so be it. I crush you. I bleed you. I grind you to paste. Mm. You speak of me as if I am a ghost, but I am right in front of you. Fear is a chain around the yeah, like this is us fighting, I guess. Has it been about? Oh, is it not? Perhaps you can enlighten me. Cold fires left your eyes, and you're finally willing to listen. You are devoured. Don't engage. The world cannot exist without you, but it does exist without you. Have you? Or is what you think of as independence merely an illusion? Without me, you can have no contrast. Let's see. And without contrast. Like, you hero have comes in, and we, just, we feel like I'm just kind of like locked in once that happens. It's weird. It's weird. Every it version of us uh, across every reality, and not every reality had you drawing breath. Even then, I went on. I don't know what need you. Death is a fantasy. Only those who lack perspective see it as anything other than transformation. You cannot destroy me. I kill you. You have never truly seen me gone. You are unmovable. Is it by the design of our conflict that I cannot win? Or are you just that fervent in how you cling to delusion? Are you so desperate to destroy me that you've grown blind to the heavenly beauty of our reality? Maybe. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no... You cannot remove something without removing the relations which define it. To destroy what you perceive as evil, is to damn everything you perceive as good. Mm. Open your eyes and ex- And everything you can to make you understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine, you think you can change me? Change you. For you is not Whatever you're trying to do right now. Now, 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 now. It is from my this you. We can carve me. Greater joy than Is this different? Because I got an achievement for this. Okay, now you just get the achievement if you do. Uh, 
Huh. Let me go look at the, um... There's still, like, all of these, man. Is there a bit of a contrarian? There's gotta got be something I can do here. <laughs> then destroy me if you're able. But I will not coddle you in my final moments. I will not yield to your delusion without a vicious struggle. You don't have to face it. You've been doing all right on your own, but you're not going to strike a decisive blow from out here. There's still a piece of me nest. It's time to re She's relentless as. I'm going to take that as a. I just feel like this. <sighs> and here we are. Do you. They've done all that. No blade it is. If you've given up on slaying her, the stairs. It's almost over, isn't it? She said, and down we go. You don't have a weapon. Do you really want to kill me? Because you don't have to. I am she, as much as she is me. And mm. all of us are both everything and also... So, how do I get all this other shit? How do I get all, all, all of that? <laughs> I had you there for a second, didn't I? Eh. I think I'm different from her, and I'm happy I'm different. I think being her would mean I'd lose a lot of myself along the way. I think I'd have to lose the parts of you that matter to me. Nothing on me, God. Me neither. It's so big. Big. It's so much responsibility. And at the end of the day, it just feels like waking up in another basement. It's something we never asked for, trapping us somewhere we never wanted to be. Sorry for all the times I've hurt you. You are so sweet, but <laughs> the first time we met, you tried to rescue me, and I stabbed you like 50 times <laughs> in the chest. And you know how bad of a job I did. You were the one getting stabbed. Well, uh, you know. I mean... Yes, you were possessed by that freaky voice living in your head, but I also could have maybe tried doing anything else before deciding to kill you. Yeah. Anyways, I'm <coughs> also sorry. Yeah, I bet. We both let things get a little out of hand, but we don't have to let that stop us from being who we want to be. You know, when she puts it like that... Can you tell me your name? I don't have one, and I think I like it better that way. But you can call me Princess, if you want. Yes. <laughs> you know, you never told me your name. I don't think I have one either. Then I guess I'll call you... Quiet. Now that makes sense. <laughs> Not... Hero? Oh well. Quiet will do. That's always been us, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's hasn't it. Mm. No fair for any of us. You know, they just want to kill an abstract concept. It's <laughs> just a person. For what it's worth, I'm glad you don't want to kill me anymore. But what do we do now? Cry. Give her what she wants us to be. I don't know. I don't think it's fair to judge her. It must be so lonely thinking that she's everything that matters in the world. Thinking that she's the only one with all the answers. I swear like, I heard all this before, but no. I never thought about it like that. That does sound lonely, doesn't it? Mm. I'm the princess. The one you've been spending all this time with. I know I've changed a few times, but so have you. Hmm. And you're still real to me. Would you finally see you again? Yeah. 
I have missed you so much. Not that we've ever really been apart, but still, it feels like it's been so, so long. Like this is some sort of a big reunion. Here to either of us. Know. We made it to the other side, and we found each other. I think that means all of the bad was worth it. Leave. Can we actually do that? What would that even mean? Where would we go? Where we go, as long as it's not here, as long as it's you. Not knowing this what it means really much to know everything out there. I wanted to leave with you, but I didn't like being a god. I just want to walk through the cabin so you and me. Just you and me. Something new. That's terrifying, but yeah, yeah. it's scary as hell. I think I'm gonna stay right here. So you don't want to yeah, come? Yeah, it wouldn't feel right, but I'll be okay. I don't think I'll be alone for long either. I'm sure I can find the others. They leave the basement for the last time. You can see the tension season as she's unsure for herself first time along the storage of this no pro to play anymore. She knows she's next. Across the room outside, you follow her confidence steps. Come on, princess. It's just a door. It's a terrifying door, though. Sorry, I'm just a little nervous. This is really it. Whatever happens next will be completely new. Who's going to open it? Both of us, right? Together! Mostly the same. I had the knife when I did this before, that's probably why. Because her tone of voice changes if you have the knife or you, you don't. It's not just that. There's other, there's other things, right? This thing is annoying me. I'm like, oh, have I gotten that technically? That's like a new dialogue, but I'm like, hmm. Oh god. Uh, like these. Never might be on the other side of the door or something. There, something. Strange beginning. I feel like this. I feel like we stabbed her. Right here without any outside help. See, that's... See, guys, that's like the weird thing, right? So I'm like, hmm. Just trying to figure this out. Wait. Wait, what am I doing? There's probably a guide on Steam. Hold on. Hold on. Uh low chart and roadmap. Okay. Holy. Oh my god. That's a that's a fucking that's that's a fucking thing and a half. Uh oh.
Yeah, this is going up. Now I go up. Ow. No, yeah, no, because like this. Hold on. The heart specials that are needed to achieve the new ending. Oh. So the red and the flow are pink, like the regular ones with their specific paths and requirements are shown. Some chapter threes are the same shade of purple for convenience. Oh. So the red ones have been picking up. Oh, the harsh ones. Need the harsh ones. Interesting. Hmm. Well, uh. I need to fucking download this fucking image. I need to download this fucking image. It's it's fucking huge. A oh, big I need to like I need to like enhance you know what the fuck I'm looking at. Like actually actually wait, hold on. Hold on, I just hold on, I just do this. Uh that they even <laughs> Well that's working as intended. Eh 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 Okay, I don't think... Okay, it doesn't work, but I'm looking at a big, big-ass, like, flow chart of, like, every... Every little fucking decision here. Bring her the stranger is the first vessel. Bring her five harsh vessels. Choose the red options. Any vessel except the stranger is the first vessel. The stranger is the first vessel changes shit. Huh. Fucking weird. The stranger's important. Oh, shit. No, I didn't get- I didn't get that one as the first one. Oh, interesting. Interesting! You have to bring it- that is weird. Probably a reason for that. And the harsh ones. Um, am I? I'm almost like trying to like map out here, like what um what we're gonna do next time. Right, I'm like almost trying to like map that out because we have to get like a bunch of like the harsh ones, which is like. Hothus. Razor's heart, the razor, princess and the dragon. Is there a princess and the dragon? Not the princess. Tunist. Yeah, it's all like different voices and stuff, right? The spectre. Apparently... Harsh vessels need to achieve the new ending. Those vessels are red. Red, pink, regular ones. Specific pass required also shown. Same chapter, three is of the same shade of purple for convenience. Huh. 
the okay. I don't think we can get any more. Ooh, actually. You don't have to. I don't think that's wrong, but I'm not sure it's right either. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do one more thing. We'll we'll there's about for now. Later. Seems like you've been doing. Well, I have to like on your plan own. out what we're gonna do next time. Maybe. I don't know, maybe like tomorrow area. I might start in infinite wealth. I might there's come back to this later. I don't know. Nestled close to where it all I don't began. Know. I can take you there. It's time to. Re She's re too bad. The illusion of choice. That's the stair. It's almost over. She sounded. And down we go. Down we the shouldn't stairs. Keep her waiting. You're really. But if that's what you want, we might as well talk a bit first. I don't think I want that either. I don't feel the same. I feel smaller. Then maybe you don't have to kill me. I think you brought that knife down here for a reason. It has to be a part of how this ends. If you can believe this helps them, then it will help them. Right? I don't want to forget you either. But unless we do this, you'll have to choose. Right now. Between me and everyone else. I mean, everyone else is cringe, but yeah. Uh, we're gonna find ourselves back here. And when we do, we'll make the same choice. Maybe we have done all of this before. Maybe we're supposed to do this forever. None of that will happen. Because you'll still be you. I know because it doesn't- And if you feel the same? Just kind of, Everything just kind of is like, going to be, but you won't be alone for long. I'll be right here, waiting for you. Now what is this? Okay, if this is your choice, then we're doing it. Okay. Yeah, it's better if we. Everything is going to be. You're here. Okay, that's just that. I was just checking, I was just checking. It feels like it is. You wouldn't have come here if you were just going to go back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. So this is what it feels like to actually die. I think this is for the best. I don't know what the world will be like without me. But it can't be that bad if it still has you in it. Uh. I've always loved you. Don't forget me. I almost feel like that hurt, that hurt me more than hurt her. <laughs> Friends guy, I've left a small amount of color way that says on the borders of your heart. Yeah. Is this gonna be the same shit? He's got Yeah, now it's just that again. Uh, at the whispering. That wasn't very up. Speak for yourself. I hope this was all worth it. Because I'm personally inconsolable. Oh well, I missed it. Lucky for us, you have forever to get over it. Here, here. To our vanquished foe. It's good to be back. Now we just have to figure out what to do with Yeah. We can do that. 
Okay. Anything fancy? I guess like I, I, I guess like I, I feel like our real ending there was just getting like the the free thing, just like something like, oh yeah, let's just go. Hey, let's just go. I feel like I feel like that that was our end this time, but um, I'm definitely going to try to. Number one, get these. All right. You don't need the one for your hat. Let me do it in the wild. Sometimes you have to cut something. Blah. Yes. So. I don't sound like too much of that. I guess just like. Uh, bringing the knife or not. That's just the only thing left. That, that one's not too complicated. Only got like two left. We just have, we just have, we just have, we have to resist that. And then we're good there. God, ambulance, but not for me. It's funny. This is how I'm getting a little closer. Uh. Damn both of you to an incomplete existence. Huh. There's something there I gotta do with talking to him. It's like this, this, this shit bothers me because I'm like, oh my god, there's like so we didn't we didn't get like but again we got we got this. We got like this up top here at least, so. That was way more of a nightmare. It's a little wild. Ah, uh, there's so this game has so yeah. No wonder it's a fucking couple of fucking gigs because oh my god, there's so fucking much. Like goddamn, dude. I love this fucking game. God, the figure. Oh god. Oh boy. Gotta fucking smooch that, I I think. I got I gotta smooch that. I I I I, I guess. I need to break her own. We we're missing these two right here. How the fuck? I gotta get her to break her own chains. Like hmm. That's like at the beginning. We still haven't gotten that. Like, bruh. Bruh. Split her as much as you're able. Okay, that's the only thing I missed with that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's the only thing I didn't do. I should have, but I didn't. I didn't. That was a lot. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just looking at everything. Yeah, I know. I have to like see. This one's like a little weird. Hmm. Fuck it. I find this game so fucking interesting and it's cool. You know? It's cool. Oh, what was my favorite uh, one today? Stranger was a little like, oh god. Uh, just so fuck it. I didn't like when she talked. Didn't, 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 didn't like that too much. I know, like, this is we just have to do, like, the. the like, the drowning or whatever. Just easy peasy.
Vital evidence of the princess's wrongdoings. Slay her clever heart. Interesting. There's a couple. There's a couple ones that are actually like ghosts. We got. We got like three ghost ones. We got like. Uh, this is just like this, this. This one's just like this, but like, I don't know. She's she she bigger, I guess. She bigger, I guess. I don't know. Honestly, I guess. I guess this was neat. Spooky though. Fucking spooky. Oh well. Okay. Well, I'm gonna end here for today. I don't know if we'll do more of this tomorrow. We'll start infinite wealth. I don't know yet. I don't know. Cause I feel like I wanna like plan out what the fuck I'm gonna do, I guess. Cause I kinda wanna get the new things, but then also probably like end off on the new ending that's in the pristine cut. That's like ideally how I'd want to do this but you know i don't know we'll see we'll we'll fucking see i guess right we'll we'll, we'll fucking see um uh, but yeah i think you guys are coming on by doing the thing all that good stuff uh i appreciate y'all coming on by watching the the funny slay the princess as we chill chill out from our fucking escapades in the bio rand re4 bullshit absolute fucking hell might I add it was just it was just awful I hated it I absolutely hated it uh but yeah so again I don't know if we'll do infinite wealth tomorrow or we'll do this again tomorrow I'll just I'll just have to I'll just have to figure it out and see I guess I have to figure it out and see there's a uh, Yeah, cause like this, this, this we can really come back to like any time. Um, but uh, In Infinite Wealth is kind of like our start of the new thing. But I don't know. Maybe I should like, ma like wrap, wrap, wrap this up before we start going to anything new. That's probably a smarter idea. You know, that's probably probably a smarter idea. Cause like, once we're in, once we're in Infinite Wealth, we're 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 gonna we're gonna be there for a while. We're <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna be there for a while, let me tell you. But, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully we'll be back up. Uh, shame time is today. We'll see, and I'll probably take the next... ...couple days off, maybe? I don't know. I've been, I've been streaming, I've been streaming, I've been streaming for a good bit. Right, I've been streaming, streaming for a good bit, so. Uh, I don't know. I also want to work on getting a clip out on the clip channel because I missed one this week, so I kind of want to do it this week. Not like beholden to my bullshit, but you know. I am not beholden to it. So, you know. Anyway, um. Yeah, so that's that for today. Hope y'all enjoyed uh Slay the Princess, all that stuff. Uh we got one more one more stream of this I kinda wanna do. At least I feel like that's gonna be enough for like doing this like stream wise, so. Look forward to that either tomorrow or some other day. We'll see. Anyway, you guys go have a good fucking rest of the day. I will see you guys next time. <gasps> oh, goodbye everybody! Goodbye! Goodbye! Yep, bup, 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 bup. Fuck.